Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, dare I say it again, the biggest game in hashtag United history. FA Cup, fourth round, and it's live. Hashtag United versus Coventry United women. It's the battle of the Uniteds. Coventry versus hashtag Seb. Who will win? It's a very fitting song here behind us, Spencer. This is the greatest show. This is it. FA Cup feels the girls have just gone off the pitch after their warm-up. I've just seen Samways tuck away a few tiny little finishes in the bottom corner. She's ready for it. Yeah, great showman. Definitely getting the uh, the vibes going. Also killing us for the old royalties. Yeah, but, you're you getting know, killed on copyright right now. Uh, Coventry United, what can we tell you guys? We've got nine minutes till kickoff. This is as big as it gets. It's a championship opposition, okay? Today's game is essentially, if we put it in men's football terms, for those of you that aren't familiar with the women's pyramid, this is basically the bottom of the championship playing top of League Two. Yes. We're top of the fourth tier. They're bottom of the second tier. They just won their first game of the season last week against uh, Crystal Palace, I believe. Why have they suddenly started winning? Well, in the second tier of women's football, you have to be professionals. This is a professional team we're playing today, and they are subject to the January transfer window. So when it wasn't going that well for them to start the season, Seb, they weren't allowed to bolster the yep. squad until January. They have now completely overhauled their squad. They have something like 11 new signings, Lots of them on loan from the Super League. They've got a goalkeeper on loan from Manchester City. This is not the Coventry we thought we'd drawn against when we got the draw in the FA Cup. There's a new look Coventry who have won last week. It's going to be tough. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, I don't know if any of you heard Grace Gillard's interview at the BBC in the week after training or at training, I think it might have been. Um, as you know, it was before then. But anyway, basically, she made a very good point. It is just an absolute free roll. Yes. Enjoy ourselves. Free hit. Feeling confident. What incredible run of winnings now, really, looking through it. Why not? Why this not? Is a, this, this is a winning team, isn't it? Our it's a winning team. team. They've barely lost a game in a year, but this is a different level of opposition. They lost uh, just before Christmas, first time in a long time, against Watford, who were near the top of the division above, and we lost an extra time. Yeah. So we know we have the credentials, Seb. We oh, know yeah. what we can do. But if you're taking bookies' odds on this, we would be big underdogs. Yes. We're up against a professional side with top tier low knees. You know, a, a championship side, professional, they train full time. We are not that, but we're the next best thing, aren't yeah. we? We're not a tier that's, four side. We're a tier three side playing in tier in four. The cup, right? That is what you used to tune in all growing up on the BBC to watch the underdog play. This is it. But it just feels so. Uh, it feels within grasp. It's not out of the realms. You, I wouldn't, like you say, the bookies are going to have their odds in a in a certain way. But we will be in this game. That's all we've got to do. Enjoy it. That game against Watford. It's fantastic. And you know what's like, amazing, There's a lot Seb, of goals in that game as well, by the way. We talk about bookies. Obviously, we're not trying to push the bookies here and bet responsibly no, if no, you do. Yeah. But this game is something you can bet on. Yeah, it yeah. shows you the level we've now got to. Yeah. This is on the web betting website. Um, shout out to Mind Squad 1 for the 17 months. We love that. Harry Hayson with the 14 months. As our, our centre back from our first team, the men, of course. Christian Fernandez, 13 months, says up the tags, believe. Guys, let's get behind it. This is an open for all stream. Anyone can watch this, but we do stream women's games on an almost weekly basis, men's reserve games, men's home games, as live as often as possible for members only. So we've got loads of great fans at Hashtag that watch our games every week, and we love it. But the real hardcore fans have become members, support the club, five pounds a month. Sometimes you get as many as 10 live streams a month. You get to see it before the main YouTube audience. You get members only interviews. Nice Runs, extra content, you? 90 minutes yeah. of games, not just highlights. What, what I always so say, and the support Spen, actually it, helps us. If you want to, like a lot of people, you know, got very big. That like Matador has uh, just gifted five memberships. Love that. Well played to you. But a lot of people like to have their comment about the players from the highlight videos, which obviously is fair enough. You get your own opinions, but you can't really have an opinion unless you see the full games. Like exactly. if you want to be a proper member, a proper supporter of the club, you want to really know what's going on. The highlights are hard to show of all the performances. You're going to see the goals for, the goals against, all that stuff in between. So many unsung heroes on both sides, the men's and the women's team and the reserve teams. Get yourself a membership. It is an incredible value. It's great expenditure. I, uh, I absolutely love the Matadors just giving the gift of a membership to five people as well who maybe weren't in position to become members. Now you can see what it's like. So Matador, thank you very much for that. You're a legend. Jay Hawk Corner, 21 months into his membership now, not far off two years. He's up the tags from the US. Dream big, why not? Let's go and win this one. You've got to remember, Seb, these, our women have been winning so much now for a couple of years that when they go out in a league game, or most cup games, pressure. they're expected to win. Pressure. This is, a, like you said, it's a completely different obstacle for them. They can play without pressure. There is no pressure being put on them from me, I, I guarantee you that. They've already done us so proud. Absolutely. The women's prize money went up dramatically this year. Here's a fact for you. If we'd got to this round this time last year, we'd have made £2,500 in prize money, which is coach. more than it's cost us to come up here and stay in a hotel yep. for this game last night. We'd have made a loss. 
But because they put the money up this year, we've made £28,000 from getting this, this to this round. Another fifteen grand available to the winner today. So it's a significant amount for women's football, which, whilst it's growing and it's great to see, still does lack a lot of the financial support of the men's game. So it's a huge opportunity. Shall we take a look at the team? Well, before we do that, let's talk about the game itself today. If we have a draw today, Spam, what's happening? What's happening? Um, it's a great question. Eddie, extra time? I think it's a We're going to get confirmation on that because... I think it's a replay. We should know that. Um, if it's a draw, does it go we'll to come a replay? We'll come back to you on that one. Time. Let's get the team. Uh, Frosted Pizza, thank you very much for the membership. Uncle Steve, thank you very much for the membership. The Shin Dogs... Is that Leo? Is that Leo Mendoza? It might be. Um, 20 months from you. We love it. Joe Ray's on two months as well. Big West Ham fan. Thank you very much, guys. Right, yes, uh, here's the team coming up now. Uh, this is the team that Jason Stevens has sent out. He's given him a big rousing team talk before kickoff and said, this is our day. We do not end our journey here, guys. In goal, Jamie Lee Bamford. In defence, we've got Malika. Now, if you've been watching for a while, you know Malika is a big goal scorer for us, a big assister. She's already broken our assist record for a season already this season. Uh, but she's been playing left back today because whenever we played the top... The, the higher tier sides Jason looks at what she can do defensively and she's so hard to get past so he's playing her left back today alongside Captain Fantastic Grace Gillard and Kat Kahneman at centre back with Keris Adams at right back if you don't know both Grace Gillard and Keris Adams are remaining from pre-merger they've been playing for the team that was formerly known as AFC Maslin and stayed all the way through as has Sophie Kelly playing in central defensive midfield today Hayley West actually played for Maslin back in the day she left and came back when we become hashtag she's a fan favourite alongside relatively new signing uh, Lauren Griffiths who's already scored two in two by the way and uh, a worldie against uh, Bowers the other week. She's in centre mid. Sammy Rowland is the goal machine that everyone in England is talking about right now. She averages a goal every 28 minutes for the tags. A goal or assist every 20 minutes. She's an absolute joke. She's up front, either side of her. Amy Lee Abrahart and Emma Samways, you may remember from the Hashtag Academy series. On the bench, we have Christy Howe. Maisie Barker, first time being in a squad for us. She's been training with us for a while. She's a West Ham player on loan who's actually been out for two years with an injury. But I am told she is double decent. We you may see her make her debut off the bench. Ava Frazzoni is on the bench, Maisie Garwood on the bench, and Sasha Adamson, of course, scored the winner in the Essex Cup final last year against Billericay. She's ready to come on. The man, the myth, the legend, thank you very much for the 15 months. Dylan McKay, thank you for joining, mate. Welcome. Joshua Austin, 14 months. You're all legends. We love our members. Uncle Steve, Frosted Pizza, let's go. Get behind the ladies, get behind women's football, get behind hashtag United. Lachlan Watto, Lachlan Watto, thank you for the 20 months. He says, where's the Aussies at? Boris1863, 16 months deep into a hashtag United membership. That is serious commitment. Love to see it. So Coventry obviously in the red today. They're the home team. Not to be confused with Coventry City, who of course a sky blue team. Uh, Coventry United are a different team, part of Coventry. More known for their women's team than their men's team. And uh, they play in red. Well, talk about the ground here, Sebi. This has got to be one of the biggest 4Gs I've ever seen. It's actually the home of Coventry Rugby Club, as well as the women of Coventry United. And it's a huge 4G pitch, isn't it? It's the biggest it could possibly be, apparently. Yeah, the width looks massive. Yeah, Dream for a winger. It, um, Dream also, for a team that wants to also, play. <coughs> also, it? corner taking. It's going to be quite hard against the wind, certainly, here, to get those balls deep into the box. One to look out for, for sure. Christopher Boyce, thank you for the membership. Mohamed Khalid Xander, thank you very much as well. Really time for kickoff now, guys. Get behind you. Get behind the team. Over a 1,000 of you watching live. A great advert for women's football. We have a women's official today as well, refereeing, which is great to see. And this is special. Obviously, our cameras are pointing away from the stand, but we're in a massive stand here. Uh, it's one of the biggest stands hashtag I've ever played in front of in non-league, I would say. Um, it's got to take a couple of thousand It's like a modern people, New River, isn't it? It is. It is a little bit, yeah. But bigger, though. Much bigger than New River, this stand. And... Um, and, yeah, there's a good atmosphere here. I reckon there's got to be 500 people here, probably, which is, again, very good for the women's game. And we're just getting ready for kickoff. This is it. Grace Gillard, by the way, she's on, I think, 13 goals for the season already from centre-back. Jermaine Francis for the first team is in the chat. Make sure you watch the men's video, which goes out tomorrow or Tuesday, by the way, guys. I'm going to put this out there right now. No spoilers, but the most insane game of football I've witnessed, and you have to watch it. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't at the game. I followed it on football web pages and on Twitter, and I can say it was an absolute roller coaster to watch via a, a social Madness. media screen. I can't imagine what it would have been like to be at. If you watch Mental. one game of men's football this season, that's the one to watch, apart from when we win the league. Do, 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 do. Come on, then. 
Let's have it. How are you feeling, Seb? Excited. Feeling excited. It's the FA Cup fourth round, Seb. The furthest the men have ever got in the FA Cup for us is the second qualifying know, round. This is crazy. the fourth round proper. Do you understand? Is it fifth then quarters, isn't it? Yeah. Genuinely, if we win this game, we could play an Arsenal, a Man City, know, a Chelsea, insane. a Man we United, are 90 a Liverpool. from a game against one of the best oh, women's football teams in the world. Crazy. Bradley Livesey, thank you very much for the membership. Eddie, can you find that out for me, please, about the, what happens in 90 minutes? Yeah. Just want to see how they shape up so I can uh, look at their formation. They've got a long huddle here. This is a big game for Coventry as well. Let's not get away from that. You know, like I say, they just won their first game in the league recently. This is a chance for them against lower league opposition, two leagues lower we are than them, to get some confidence, to get back-to-back -back wins for the first time and, and start to look... Because their main, their main uh, objective this year is obviously to stay in the championship. That's what they'll be trying to do. about to get kicked off here come on guys let's do it let's get it done looks like a 4-3-3 three, three from Malik's gonna have a nice little run here watch this Coventry come on and we are underway Sammy Rowland plays it back to Sophie Kelly looks early for Malika but gives the ball away to McAteer for Coventry gets an early chance here looking to get in behind here with the number... Oh, Malika. Oh, actually, that's what Malika will do all day for you. Up against the number 22, Eleanor Ryan Doyle. Good challenge. She offside, though, there, Lino? She's got to be, isn't she? Yes, given. So, uh, it is extra time and penalties, guys. Okay. If, if, it's, uh, wow. if it goes the distance. It will get decided today. I was wrong, then. No replay. It's all happening right here. Looks like a 4-3-3 they're shaping up with his cat. Kahneman sends the ball down the right-hand side. Looking for the head of Amy Lee Abraham. Throw in for the tags. Second ball, it's gone. Well in. Good tackle there. Sophie Kelly just plays it back there to Keris Adams. She's going to go all the way back to Jamie Lee Bamford. If you're new to watching the hashtag women's team, Jamie Lee Bamford's a new goalkeeper this year. Very good at getting out of a, a box early, reading the game and using her feet as well. Sammy Ronan looking to get this one under here. Perhaps gives a foul away in the middle. I'd probably say, actually, I'm going to confirm this, Ben, the best vantage point we've commentated from. Oh, it's a great game. view we've got here, isn't it? Apart from your little bit there, just the side. But yeah, we actually can a... genuinely see the whole pitch lovely here. It's also going to be a very similar aesthetic to the old um, hashtag arena near River days, camera-wise. Easy pass into Ryan Doyle's feet there. He goes back to the centre half for Coventry. That's the captain there looking for a, a spray over to the right-hand side. Good play for McAteer. Cuts inside. Malik is going to follow her. Ball should come through to Grace Gillard. We'll put it into a good area. Coventry, though, as expected, dominating things in the early parts of this game. Although Emma Samways picks up the ball for us. Wearing the number 10 shirt today, Emma. She's going to apply some pressure here. Throw in here for Coventry. Down the right-hand side. It's a good throw. Gets a flick. Gillard should get there first, though. she go back to Jamie Lee. She does. Jamie Lee not having a lot of options on the right side there, but she finds Malika. Good interception from Mann at right back for Coventry. This is going to be the, the tail of this game. Whatever happens, they will dominate possession. It's just whether we can hurt them on the break. Kat Kahneman looking for Sammy Rowland here. This is the, the, the player on everyone's lips at the moment. Absolute goal machine. She finds Malika on the overlap from left back. Getting forward now. Malika with one of her trademark runs. Can she play it to Sammy Rowland or go alone? Plays it to the right, looking for Griffiths. Griffiths plays it to Rowland. Rowland hitting a shot here, early doors. Worth a go. First shot on goal is a hashtag one. Yeah, that's the danger, isn't it? Get it to Malik down the left-hand side. And you can see it already in the commentary players' eyes. They don't know quite what to do with her. Just charges forward. I thought for a minute she might have had a shot herself, but eventually manufacture it half a yard for Sammy, and that's often all she needs. So nice early sight on goal. Yeah, I think the most important thing is as long as we can cover Malika when she gets yes. forward, because we're gonna they're gonna be able to turn it on us very quickly if they get the ball back. A lot of sun in the eyes though at the moment oh. for hashtag. Yeah. Hayley West with a thundering header. She had a great tweet yesterday, Hayley. She said, This goes out to my yes. school PE Saw teacher that. who gave me six out of ten for football. Yeah, I'm a coach that. to play in the FA Cup fourth <laughs> round. What a mug that teacher giving a six <laughs> out of ten, by the way. It's gonna come through to Gillard again. Hashtag playing with the sun in their eyes this first half. Definitely worth noting. To weather the storm early. Just growing confidence give Coventry something to uh, think about. 
Let them know they're in a the game. Exactly. Don't concede early. That, I think it's the most important thing. It's going to be a throw here for Gillard to take. Unbelievable goal scoring record from centre half. Not just penalties, free kicks, also from open play. What a throw that is as well. We'll come back to us here. Throwing for Gillard again. Down the left side, looking for Malika's flick. She gets the flick. Emma Samways, can you get there before the number six? She's going to get another throw for the tags, I think. Yep. I see this long throw from Gillard again. Gillard, who can you target here? Griffiths making a run towards Gillard. She had a great first few games for the tags. This is a completely different challenge. Malika. Malika heads it in to the goalkeeper Whiteman's hands. Amy Lee Abraham trying to stop the early throw opportunity. Malika's stats from today's game. Her distance cover is going to be right up there. Let me tell you now. We should get the ball straight back here. We'll have that all day long. I've got all their team written down now in position, so I know where everyone's playing now. That's much more helpful for me. Uh, shout out to Daniel Spargo, the 20 months membership. We love that. Come on, that's going to make a difference for the girls today. Every membership that comes in, they can feel it. Malika could get the end of this. A bigger pitch, though. And this we've got to drop back in. A bit more room to cover. A good job here, just covering for a little bit. Gone back to deal with the nine. McCafferty tees it. Wiseman plays it back to the captain, Bartle. It's going to come forward down the left-hand side now for Coventry. There's Jones, plays it forward, heavy touch, West could get on that. No foul from Haley there. Big spray over from Thomas, over to this right side, over towards McAteer, up against Malika. Good play from McAteer, Malika gets in strong, ref's not going to give that. Glad to see the ref making a sensible decision there. Yesterday's ref for the men's giving a red card and a penalty there, I tell you. Matthew Bell, thank you very much for joining, you're a legend. Let's go. If it's a draw, guys, it goes extra time penalties. It will be resolved today. Hayley West. Cleared by Kahneman there. What what you made of the opening uh, six minutes, Seb? Yeah, I mean, fairly fairly nice to see the girls get down and cause trouble early, early doors. Malika's going to be a key outlet today as well, I think. Emma as well, down the flanks. We talked earlier about it's a very wide pitch, so using that area. The there sun she is, is a factor in this first half, so exactly. I think we need to just settle... Grow into this game, not take too many risks early, feel out Coventry, feel where they like to play, where their danger players are, and then look to look to strike a break on the uh, on the counter. Amy Lee Abraham helping out defensively there with Keris Adams. Handball like here, given against us, I think. Free kick for Coventry, that's an odd one. I didn't see anything in that whatsoever. These are the ones where that sun could cause havoc, Ben, here. You can already see Grace's hand in the air. Just It's also not there, though, is it? Isn't it about 10 yards further back than that, where Amy kicked it away? This is, a, this is a real troubling one here. Dangerous ball in for the keeper to watch. Yeah, first opportunity for Coventry to really cause us a problem. They've got some height on their team as well in the box. There's number 10, Loisring on the edge. Thomas, who's uh, unmarked at the moment as well. Also someone at the back post. I think it's uh, Ryan Doyle, the number 22. I'm not sure who's marking her. Is it Malika? I'm not sure she's marked, you know. As the ball comes in, really? great jump from Kat Kahneman. Oh. Emma Samways clears it, not in, out of danger completely. Malika's going to get touch tight. Throw in for Coventry. The big difference between our benches today is we've got five on the bench, they've got nine on the bench. Now, I don't think they can use all nine, but it's a lot of reinforcements to be able to have options available to them. Where's Malika in the Ballon d'Or conversation? I don't think there is a conversation when it comes to Malika. I think it's just a decision. The, the, name, the main contenders at the moment are Malika and, and, uh, and Roland. Now, normally we dominate possession. We, 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 we press high, uh, Wilson's wondering. This is a completely different challenge today. Hence why we put one of our highest scorers and assisters at left back to at allow for their attacking efforts. We, we're going to be definitely counter-attacking today. It's not what we're used to. Malika flicks it. 
Oh, heavy touch there. Tell you Ooh. what, pressure here. Go on, Emma. Just about kept that in. But Go on, Tony. Go on, Tony. Oh, look at that shoulder bar from the four there. It's the sort of Literally. challenge you get from the professional games, Seb. They don't know what they're doing, these girls. NFL blocking. Can come and get go. Yeah, we'll have it there because you never know where that would have gone otherwise. Lines in this pitch are horrible. Well, it's obviously used as a rugby pitch as well, so you've got the 22 and all these different yardages. It, you know, it, it's the, never the as bad for the girls as it is for us at the camera, seeing it up high. You can't no, see yeah, it as much on, on the, the ground. We used to have it near River, yeah, didn't exactly. we? It's not that bad. And you've got, the, uh, obviously, the, the try area as well. for when you. S and usually there's rugby goals. You can actually see the posts behind the rugby goals, the, the football goals, I think, where they usually Laid are. Down, yeah. But they've been removed, which is great. Um, I think it just doesn't look as good when they're there. Keeper's going to have to come for this. She hasn't come. Emma Samway is good pressure. I think we've got a, a throw in in deep territory. So Coventry in the championship, the women's championship, the second tier women's football. We're in the top of the fourth tier. So there's two tiers between us. I don't know who's top of the men's league two right now and who's bottom of uh, the men's championship. But it's essentially the bottom of the championship playing top of league two this game. There's every chance we play each other next year. If they were to get relegated and we were to get promoted, we I don't know if they'd go in the northern or the southern here in Coventry. Mm. They might go in the northern. If we, but there, that's tight. Grace Gillard's throw towards Malika, who wins her flick. We've got to almost count on her winning them because it's the second time she's done so. Malika again, Brilliant. recovering well. Great stuff for Malika. And she's going to get a corner. Well Come played. on. If you're new to watching Hashtag Women, I'm pretty sure you'll be in love with Malika Opinion by the end of this game. Right, now this is the one spin because this we haven't really seen it yet. This is the first corner of the game. It is a long way by anyone's measurement from the corner position to the middle of that box. Yeah, it's a proper... It's a long way. Even, yeah, exactly. Emily Abel's got to get it right in the mix here. Got to go deep, deep, deep. And there it's is a the great corner. delivery. It's a good is. area, you know. Gillard underneath it. She's going to win a header here. Love that. I wouldn't say it's cleared off the line, but it was in front of the line here. Sophie Kelly's going to take a touch and just work it back in. Not bad at all. Malika's chasing this. It could bounce over oh. the keeper. Malika! Oh, oh, what a save! Tell you and what, I looked over at the assistant. The flag yeah. didn't go up. It must have been very close to being over the line, that. And that is just a hint of the desire these girls have to win this game. Malika putting her body on the line. And I have to say, a good save from, from Whiteman. Yeah, she's done very well. And now they can look now on the to hurt us on the break. There's a player at the back post unmarked. But we've got plenty of yellow and blue shirts back. And one of them is Hayley West. And that's fantastic defending. It's and a it's goal a goal kick, kick as well. It's got oh, to be a goal a kick. What are you talking about? Oh How is that a corner? All the Coventry players were headed back the other way. No one was calling for that. How have you given a corner for that? What is that decision? I'm sorry, but Hayley West has done so well there, and then she gets no corner. She gets a corner for her troubles. Ref, you've definitely got a better view than us. What is that? That's the second one. My right, big hitter here. Right into the eyes. Let's hope nothing comes of this. Definitely shouldn't have been a corner. Comes in for Coventry. Headed yeah, away nice. by Grace Gillard. Samway's getting on the ball now. Three red shirts really around nice. her. Yeah. It's gone off for a throw. Come on. Can't believe that save, by the way. It's a great save, wasn't it? It looked like it was going to go in from Malika's head. Here we go, then. Samway's on the ball. Lovely. Good pass to Hayley West. Sammy Rowland oh wants eye. it. You know what? That West has tried it. it might have been the right ball. Westy's tried the right thing there. She's tried the long ball to Rowland and yeah. just hasn't quite got it on her left foot there. But, but West is my spirit animal. She plays the way I wish I could play. Well, she has her hair. She reminds me of like a Viking. Yeah. But if you saw her, she you wouldn't think, around. you know, she's not the tallest. You wouldn't think she's going to, but she's an absolute yeah. warrior. She's a warrior. She will fight for the badge. Cut her open. She bleeds hashtags. Well, if they didn't know already, Coventry know they're in a game already. Yeah, Hayley West made sure of that. Malika's doing a good job of that as well. Definitely. Not sure the Coventry subs, Bibs, are actually doing the job they need to over there. Could easily look like they just cropped it onto the pitch there. Free kick then for Coventry United. It's going to be played down the centre of the box. Kat Callaman gets nothing on it. Oh, it's header against the bar. Rebounds. And it's in. And just like that, we are behind. You wouldn't say against the run of play, but I also say we've caused problems as well, Seb. So the game's very much open, but we are behind. Yeah, I think there's going to be goals in this game. Look, I, I think no matter how optimistic any of us were coming into this game, keeping a clean sheet, I think, was unlikely to be anything anyone was going to be taking for granted. So 
had to expect to concede a goal today. It's a shame we've done it first, but the girls have shown more than enough they can cause problems at the other end. She's got to keep going. I think the sun might have played a part in that I one agree. as well. Yeah, we have got that sun in our eyes. You just hope that it stays like this for the second half so they have to deal with it as well because we've already shown from our own crosses that we can cause them problems. Yeah, 100%. So we've got some Goals work to do. We know we're going to have to score at least one. Well, Cameron was getting caught there. not let it affect there. us. There's no need to. That's offside, surely. Yeah, it was a scrappy goal, but that first header hitting the bar was a, was a let off, I guess. I think you're right. It's the first ball in, sort of just no one went to meet it, which makes you think they're possibly all blinded by the sun. Just sort of drifted past the bat line and then Havoc broke loose. Benjamin Bessemer, thank you very much for the support. It's a name we know very well, is always supporting the, the tags. Can we get forward then? Can we get Sammy Rowland on the ball? It's good to see. Sammy, first one, she went and got the ball, she stuck it on the halfway line. Come on, girls, let's get on with it. It's the right attitude you've got to have. Throwing down the left side. Flicked on. Grace Gillard with the player hiding behind her. Didn't have a lot of options, but she finds a good pass to Keris Adams. Puts it through the legs of a player to Sophie Kelly. Yeah, get forward. Kelly looking for Roland. Looking to flick it for herself. She's not giving it up either, Sammy. Did I just call her Kelly Roland? Because yeah, <laughs> it was saying. Kelly to yeah. Roland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good singer. Benjamin Bessman is 11 months in, by the way. Love that support. Sensei Chill is 19 months in. He says 6-3 to the tags. I'll take it. Wow. I think there's going to be goals, Ben. I, really I was going to say before that goal, wouldn't it? Would you take nil nil at half time, which I'm sure you would have. Yeah, definitely. Lauren Griffiths into Amy Lee Abraham. Can she get a bit of space on that right side? Just need a little bit of luck. Keris looking for Sammy Rowland, trying to take the ball under. It's a bit deceiving that line there when obviously it's, that is the byline, line but because they've got the second line behind it. They're going to play this short here, I think. Yes, they do. That's the thing with this big pitch though, especially if you consider yourself the better footballing side and you want to play out from the back, you've got so much room to do it. Traditionally, the, the better footballing teams will prefer bigger pitches. Watch those buttons, Seb. Chance here for Coventry again. Crossed in on the right foot. Malika gets something on it, comes through Jamie Lee Bamford. No problem there. Just a forewarning, guys. We are experiencing some issues with our uh, microphone system, so if at any point we cut out and you lose us, it's just being a battery issue. We'll, we'll be back within a minute or so. It's just uh, a forewarning because it was happening yesterday as well. I think we might cut out at some point. So if that happens and anyone's wondering why there's no volume from us, just let them know in the chat that we'll be back soon, please. Got to avoid giving away these free kicks around the box for these balls in over the top. Sun's briefly gone behind a uh, big cloud, but... You know, I think I'm right in saying that Watford game that we, we lost an extra time to a team in the league above before Christmas was the first time we've actually been behind this season. And this is only the second time we've been behind this season. So it's unfamiliar territory for the tags. So it's going to be... Second balls here. Come on, hashtag. Another free kick for Coventry. They've got their goal from a free kick. Malik has got to come out to the 22. Ball's coming in. Sophie Kelly gets a touch to it. Good composure from Griffiths to pick out Samways. We're very deep, though. Throw in for hashtag. Daniel Spargo, thank you for the super chat. We appreciate you. $1.99. Been watching for 10 years. It's insane to see. Love it. Hashtag's seventh year anniversary this year, but 16 years for me on YouTube now, believe it or not. Gillard throwing. Hayley West gets something on it. Now, Sammy Rowland, can you get switch. a switch? Oh, Running into a pile of players. There, surely. Ref, switch come on. Ref. Ref. That was obviously just stopping us from switching the play there. It wasn't intentional, but the impact was there. You've got to give a free kick for that. Good challenge there from the number 21, Morris on Griffiths. It's over with Jones now on the left side for Coventry. Up against Keris Adams. It's going to come back to Rab John. She puts a low cross in. It's going to make it through. Chance from the edge here. Good closing hey. down from Westy once again. Malika, though, just rushes her clearance as Alan Potter becomes a member for the 19th month. And Prof Chibs gives 10 memberships. Come on. Go on that is the legendary Professor Chibs. Malika might have just tweaked something there. That is not a good sign. She's straight back on her feet now, though. Putting a good challenge in. Oh, oh nice done well. Work. It's very good for McAteer. Malika doesn't give it up. Gillard comes across to help out. 
Thank you very much, though, to Chibsy for the gifted memberships. Ten of you now members, thanks to the ever-generous Professor Chibs. Let's hope that really uh, helps the ladies. Session. I wonder if we can move that in the second half down there. Corner for Coventry. It's going to be left-footed, in-swinging. Jersey Pie, thank you for the eight-month membership. Here comes the corner. It's a good one. Oh, Jamie Lee Bamford had to get something on it, and she did enough, you know. Can we clear the danger here, though? Oh, it's another scrappy one, Sebi. It's another scrappy one from about six yards out. Yeah, it's one of those, the ball's coming into the box and it's just very hard to deal with it. Coventry everywhere, <clears throat> jumping on their chances. Different test today for the tags. Got to keep the belief they spend. Do think there's goals in this game and there's goals for us. we just got to get the ball down if we can and get out there. The press is, is keeping us very much near our own box at the moment. Mary McAteer with the goal for Coventry. Uh, Flyflox Pro, thank you for the gifted membership as well. We appreciate that. Plenty of time still to go. If you remember the Watford game, we were three, we were one nil down and three one down, and we got yeah. it back oh, to yeah. three all. Uh, with great fight. Got fight. We just got, and we've had a chance. Let's not forget that Malika chance. In fact, all chances this game have come from a very close distance to the goal. And they come from crosses in and set pieces. Yeah, um, they've just made a bit of a change. Nine, uh, sixteen has just swapped. Uh, I think with McAteer. Yeah, they just swapped wings. Yeah, probably going to do that for out. I imagine. Okay, we've got a big task on our hand now. It's always going to be likely scenario this, to find ourselves down against a, you know, a championship side. It's just about what we can do now, the remainder of the game. We don't really want to be considering another one. It's always going to be a big ask. Remember, this is like League 2 team playing a championship team or a League 1 team playing a Premier League team. Two divisions between us. They're a professional side as well. You have to be in the Women's Championship. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, we were 1-0 up against Watford. Then we went 3-1 down, then we got back to 3 all. that's it. And this is going to be another set piece in this same dangerous area. This is going to be another big test for the tags here. I honestly think that the Sun could have played a factor in both goals, though. Definitely the first one. The, first, the second one, not so the much. The second one, think. maybe with the original Jamie Lee Bamford, Bamford punch away, though. Maybe she'd have got more on it if she had better visibility. I don't I know. I think the Sun's been in for a little while now. Is this shootable here for Coventry? I think they'll just put it in that mixer area, to be honest, in between the back line which is quite high, which means there's a gap in that area. You need to really come out and command it and get rid of it earlier or else he ends up pinballing and it's like effectively how the first two goals have come about. You've got to say, I mean, no disrespect to Coventry whatsoever, like they're in the lead and deservedly so, but neither goal has been like them cutting us open. It's been no. the set pieces, balls in, you know, if we get those set pieces, we might be able to do the same to them, but they've got another one here and they keep racking them up. I think she might have a shot here, Ben. She's setting she's up for a shot here. Here we go then, Jamie Lee Bamford with the sun in her eyes. Does she need a hat on? Hits the wall. Sammy Rowland does well. Well, Sam. Ryan Cliff, thank you very much for the super chat. He's up the tags, been here since the chairman days. Come on, you tags. The chairman's still very much involved. Very much involved. Spoke to him the other day. Yeah, how yeah. is he? Yeah, he's doing well. He's doing well. Still playing a lot of chess? Uh, he is, yeah, he's keeping his eye in. Gillard on the ball. Malik is in space if Gillard can find her. Difficult pass. <laughs> Ball comes back to the keeper here. No, not the best clearance. We've got no one there pressure. to sort of capitalise on it. Samway's on the ball here. Malika thinking about... I think she's moving a bit gingerly, Malika. Yeah, when she made that clearance, that sort of didn't... Oh, great ball from Gillard, though. Flags what a ball. Oh, you're kidding me. Um, yeah, she did when she struck it. I think it'll be fine. I don't think it's anything. It's just one of them where you don't catch a ball right. Tends to leave a bit of a mark for a bit. She'll run that off. She'll feel it tomorrow. Tomorrow's a day away. Great ball from Gillard, wasn't it? Yeah, it was lovely. You've got to keep her persevering with those balls. I think it's very important we don't concede the third here. I agree. If we just get in, even if it goes to half time at 2 0, there's still time. We just need to not go three down, I think. It's definitely a bit of a misnomer to say this is bottom of the championship side because it's a completely different 11 to what yeah. they would be, were fielding at this first half of the season. That's a great ball down the left side. Up against Kat Kahneman here. She's an experienced player. I think she's played at the championship level before Kat Kahneman. She's the former captain of Oxford. The shot comes in here. Oh, Ooh. my word. That was a looping effort. Nearly caught out Jamie Lee Bamford. 
Jim Gillard, no relation. Thank you very much for the £5 Super Chat. All this support really does help our team. We're going to go short for the goal kick into Kat Kahneman's feet. Ball quickly returns to Coventry, though. Can Amy Lee pick it up here? Good from Amy Lee, just to force it down the right side. The thing is, we, we then stop the press, you see, once yeah. they can turn back to the keeper. I understand why we're doing it, but it just means they've always got that out ball. Good pass over to the right. Heavy touch, though. Straight to Malika. Malika finds Emma Samways. Malika Brilliant. wants it back. That's better. That's good. That's what we need to do. The interchange between them two is going to be important today. They're going to do a lot of chopping and changing positionally as well. Emma dropping in for Malika. It's going to be just as important as how they link up between them. Yeah, maybe it'd be a little bit more courageous Malika's with those runs. going to win this header. This is all about the second header. Yeah, we've got to make Sammy. sure someone's running off of her. Because she's one-two in a row now. Oh, it's gone she's over gone her. beyond her. Gillard have another go here. Headers it in. She's tripped. She's tripped oh, there. She's on. tripped over. There's nothing no in the rule book against for that. tripping. No one has appealed for that on their whole team. I am genuinely considering becoming a ref. No. Just to show people how it's done. Good luck to you, mate. Enjoy that. Enjoy that. No, it's the only reason I, I don't want to do it is because of how the I'll, I'll then be known as a ref. <laughs> Lance 108, thank you very much for the 11 months. 11 months is no joke. One away from a year. We appreciate you, Lance. Well done. Go on, Sammy. Pressurise that. Second ball. Well done. Cleared. Not convincingly, but they get away with it. Into the captain now. Go Bartle. On. West is going to put in some serious yards, you know that. So the keeper does not want it on her left foot, I'll tell you that now. I don't think that is the keeper they've got from Man City, even that might be a different one. It might be, I need to get that confirmed. No, it's a big That's pitch, uh, uh, Marcus, you're right. I think it's the biggest it could possibly be in terms of uh, length and width. Obviously, it's a rugby pitch predominantly, so that might be something to do with that. Malika's pushed further forward in spend a bit of a reshape. I OK, think. West has gone to left back, I think. And Emma Samway has gone in the middle. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't mind it. Obviously, you play when you play Malika left back, you lose her attacking We're qualities. Gonna, it's just going to be Sammy and Malika pressing the hell out of them now. Yeah, it makes sense when you're 2-0 down to try and uh, create something at the other end. Great from Gillard. Second Follow up, please. Way West way will get there. Just send it. Here's Malika. Look at that touch and turn. She's, she's, gone. Got, she's, off, look, by the way. she's gone. This is what Malika does, guys. She's got Sammy Rowland in the box, but she's got three red shirts around her. She puts it in low towards Sammy. Can Sammy get it under here? She's got Emma Samways on the edge. Emma plays it off to Lauren Griffiths. There's one a more, ball on for Amy Lee. Sophie Kelly hits a shot instead. I think the, or the smarter choice might have been a little slip pass to the right. There's a goal for us in this game. I'm telling you right now. Already, since moving Malika in there, we're looking more lively. Look, I completely, completely would do the same thing in Jason's position at the beginning of this game. You've got to play... Manika there to stop them coming on to you. But as soon as we're behind, she is the most threatening person running with the ball in the team. You've got to get her in the final third. In both teams, I would argue. Yeah, probably, yeah. Um, Hayley West, anything about putting Hayley West left back? She loses that, that industry in the middle, you know? So the players yeah, might have instead. Bypass have got to the middle yeah, a little bit, potentially. Very true, very true. Good ball down the right side. Or our right side, their left. This wouldn't go out that. It did in the end. Keris Adams on the ball. Jamie Hurst is in the chat. Good, Jamie. She's got to be big and it's got to be away and it's got to be now because there's Charles. a shot coming. Oh, wow. That could have gone anywhere. Decent effort on the edge of the box. Another let off for the tags. Um, are we third tier? Well, I would say we're third tier. We play in the fourth tier, but I think we're a third tier side personally. We're top of the fourth tier currently. There's a lot of different divisions at the fourth tier, but we're top of the Division One South East of the National League. Jamie, hope you're well too, mate. Good hand in there, our ball. If we, if we can get a goal for half time, I'll take that. I'll take oh, two yeah, one at yeah, half time. Hundred yeah. percent. Especially now. Well have a go, Grace. This is gonna be over. It's gonna be right on top of Thomas's toes, this. 
Malika gets a little back on it. Sam Malika, ways. Go, Malika, go. You've got to go. That, that'll do if we go, get it Malika, back. Go, Malika, go. Trigger it. Trigger the run. Let's come, come through to Sammy. There <coughs> we go. Sophie Kelly on the ball. Can you move it on? That's not a bad area. It's a lovely area. Keeper's not going to come for it. Gamble on it. Gamble on it. She doesn't want to head backwards. Sam ways. Oh, that's good interception, though, in the middle, you have to say. That's not Don't a foul. That it's referee! Not a... Oh, he's just using your body. Let them play. That's a shame. That's Malika using one of her attributes, her physicality, to the better, and the other person just not being able to deal with it, falling over, and he gets a free kick. Like, that's not how it works. Let the girls play. Do you know what I mean? Malika's basically too strong for the rule book, apparently. Go on, Malika, get into her. Get into her. Here we go. They Here can't we go. live with her. I mean, I would never second guess a Jason Stevens' decision because he's got us where we are, but you wonder if he regrets not starting her up there now. Tom, the reason it says CNK Bowser and Google is a Google error base. That was the name of the team before we merged with them and became hashtag United Women. Um, it's the only place that name still exists is on Google for some reason. But everywhere else, and obviously the official league table and FA Cup, everything, we're obviously called hashtag United Women now. But uh, yeah, we don't actually know how to change that. If anyone works at Google, feel free to fix it. Corner. Emily Abraham whips it into a good area. Oh, it's oh. headed away. We didn't have enough people underneath that, I don't think. Sam Ways lays it back to Abraham. Another chance to whip one in. Again, red shirts underneath it. Sophie Kelly stops the counter. Hits a shot. Better. Good reaction for the tags to go in that second goal behind. Not capitulated like many teams would do. Get a stronger opposition. Dive back in. Making progress. I'm Listen, I'm a massive Sophie Kelly fan, right? Really, really good. But goal scoring is not her forte. And I think there's just been a couple of occasions on the edge of the box where she could have maybe just looked after Flipped it. it. She's strong, strong player. Hold mm -hmm. up the ball, even if you go backwards. A little bit of composure in there yeah, yeah, to work a bit. Yeah, maybe a free kick as well. What is the attendance today, Save It's got to be 500 plus. I think it's got to be up there, yeah. It's a big stand, this, and there's a lot of people in it. Oh, it's a great flick through the middle for Coventry. Yeah, and a chance maybe away, to yeah. win this here. Oh, that could be a red. That could be a red, Sebi. Yeah, but there's players defecting it, players protecting. Oh, it Someone's got to get, get the ref. With yellow. Someone's got to get in the ref's ear here and let her know there was three no hashtag defenders gone near the ref. there, past her. Someone needs to be getting into her and saying, "This is what we don't do in women's football." Gillard's now going to try and do it. I think there was players all around her. Yeah, Gillard's telling the assistant that. Oh, this is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. First of all, hope that they go based on the way. Down. Yeah, of course. I think pretty heavy. Based on the way the ref's been ref in this game, I'm not hopeful. She's, she's having a consultation now. You can hear she's got her hand to her ear. Have they got the old Yeah, they are. They're yeah. chatting. There, w there were runners in, but... It wasn't a definite goal. It wasn't like there was no one there. She was going to go yeah. around her, for sure. <clears throat> there was three, but there was two three players, players to tackle her. What are we think in the chat? I, I don't think you can make a huge... You guys can rewind red, it and watch. But Is really there an element it. of game management here? You know, you've got the lower... I'm not saying we deserve any special treatment, but we're a lower-ranked team. We're already 2-0 down. Is that yeah, if only it worked that way, if it's a, that's definitely not a factor. Do you think it's definitely a red, then? No, I don't think it's definitely a red. But I think if there was no players there, it's definitely a red. But the thing is, the players became more prominent because she can't run anymore to keep up. She's ahead of our player. She was the last forward through. So yeah. if the keeper doesn't do that to her, she gets to that ball first. So you're probably right. You're probably right. <clears throat> it's going to be a big decision. Let's, let's be honest. It's going to be a big decision. And, and uh, It's one of them where if it was nil-nil, I think it's a red. Barring a miracle. It might be one of them where the girls are not quite in her ear as much. It all depends red, on red, red. whether this ref wants to like finish this know, game right here. Yeah, because Absolutely. it's one of them... By a miracle, it, it ends the game, doesn't it, pretty much? A red card here, in terms of our chances. I believe in these girls all day I long. I don't know why the goalkeeper's staying there. I'd be out there. Get out of there. Yeah, do you think she's, like, she's almost like... Well, because she's waiting to be talked to, I guess. I think she's just looking, looking out for... The, the Hayley West is putting her away. Oh, yeah, I think she's looking out for the girl on the ground, is what she's doing. Which is commendable, but... Jamie Lee Bamford. I mean, she had to come. The only thing I'll say is, she, did she hesitate a little bit in the initial coming? Yes, potentially, but it's one of them where you've got, it's hard to make that decision, isn't it? You've got to be sure. If you come, you've got to get there. You've got to get there. That's the, that's the reality of it. They're having a long chat. The referee, you can see she's got an earpiece. She's just holding a ma microphone as well. She's holding. So the linesman's talking to her. They're not actually having to go head to head because they can talk to each other. Most importantly, the player's up. Yeah. And uh, now we await sentencing. She's going to have to leave the pitch, number 16, Jones, who, who's, who's quick. She's done well to get there before the keeper. Let's be honest, Ben. If it was the other way around, we'd be bathing for her. <laughs> yeah, I think we would be. She's got to leave the pitch still. The captain of Coventry is making a real case here. 
But what a good... Yeah, was, I think the lines was going to play a huge part in this. What, what a good testament to show like, how women's football do things a little bit differently. Like, in a referee, this would be a disgusting show of pressure on uh, the referee. In, 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 in men's football, the, football the, she'd be having to push people away. Yeah, I know. So, this is better. This is one of the many things I prefer women's over. football for. Oh. Is it a red or is it a yellow? Could be very, very important in the rest of this game. Where does she keep her red cards, this player? What pocket? Is it back pocket? Oh, That's yeah. not good, is it? Back pocket's usually a red, I think. The way she's not getting out yet, I think it means it's red spin. I think back pocket's usually a red, guys. There yeah. it is. Uh, it's an uphill battle. It's an uphill. It's already an uphill battle. Now it's uh, essentially a, a 90 degrees battle. Uh, will so that lucky. mean she gets banned for the league as well? I think it probably will, won't it? You know, it'll probably mean lucky. she gets banned for the league, bless her. She'll be upset about that, but there's no... no Blaming Jamie Lee. It's no. a difficult one for the keeper there. One. You've got to come out. You've got to make your decision. So Christy Howe is going to probably get subbed on here, which means someone's going to have to make way. You've got to look at it another way. If she doesn't do that, it's probably 3-0. Probably right. Probably right. Is 3-0 better than 2-0 on 10 <coughs> men? Maybe. But it, no, she thought she could get the ball, obviously. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so who's going to be the sacrificial substitute here? I'm going, to, I'm going to put a guess out and say Emily Abraham, but I don't know if it will be. Who's going to go and go? Christy Howe's coming on. Look, she's our okay. substitute keeper. Yeah. Great story, Christy Howe, for those of you that are new to the women's team content. She um, was a former professional netball and tennis player. Um, but she... Yeah, is Amy Lee Abrahart going off. She uh, never played football before until last summer. Watched the women win the Euros at 30 years old. So that's, that's and was inspired to try football. That is what it's all Since about. Since her first season in professional football... Uh, not in professional, sorry. Semi-professional football. She's played maybe three or four games for us. Uh, a lot of them in the FA Cup, actually. A couple of clean sheets. And it's amazing that the transferable skills she's taken from things like netball and tennis. Her hand-eye coordination is brilliant. But her kicking's very decent as well. So no, no, That's uh, what it's all about. That's what's yeah. happening in the women's game right now. People getting inspired, turning their hands to a sport with talent they didn't know they had. Obviously, she knew she had plenty of talent in other sports. But whether it transferred to football. We've actually got some massive games coming up in the league as well. We play Norwich twice and Wimbledon in the next month and they're the second and third teams behind us who are top of the league so you do wonder if that means I think Jamie will be banned for that I'm not sure if that's a three match ban or I think if it's, it's a, a three match ban yeah we'll see either way let's concentrate on today our chances now are very low of winning this game but you never know you never know could do about this going in that's for sure it's going to be a, did the player get, have to leave the pitch that had treatment by the way I guess if it's a red, she doesn't have to leave, does she? Yeah. Number 20 is going to take this. That's uh, the, the, actually the left back, Rab John. Obviously left footed. She looks like quite a young player. Is she going to go for a shot here? First test for Christy Howe. She's going to strike it. Good hands, well Christy. Played, Christy. By the way, Christy's six foot tall. Yeah, she looks tall. Good throw here. Almost gets to Malika. It does in the end. Malika is going to be a one-woman team, I think, for large sections of this game. Looking out of red shirts, there are versus yellow. We'll have the advantage, potentially, but probably, probably best not to, to be honest, with 10 men, get the set pieces all day long. 10 women, I should say. Seconds or so. So that's in the space of about 120 minutes of football this weekend. We've had three red cards. Crazy. It's less than that in the actual amount of ball being kicked. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. It was eighth minute, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What a weekend. It's crazy. There's a book in there. I think that's probably for descent. Was that yellow card for number 21, was it? it? can be. Morris, can we make it another yellow just to even things up? Could you actually double that up? What did she say? I think she, she really meant it. Sophie Kelly's going to take this. Not going to be a shot. She's going to just loop this in. Now, I'd rather have I'd Malika, Malika at the back, back post. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking exactly the same thing. Unless she's hoping for some rebounds. Where's Gillard? Gillard's making the late run. Kat Kahneman's a danger in there as well. It's just got to be in that corridor, this. Quality of the ball at the set piece now is going to be absolutely paramount for hashtag. It's not a bad ball. It's a great ball. Gillard's making that run. It's headed away. Should come to Kerry Adams first. Who can hit them. Goes into Gillard. Difficult to control. Obviously, we are a player down now as well. I don't know if we've got an indicator or anything, James, we can put on the screen to update people about the red card. Oh, yeah, if you just tuned in, we are down to 10 men here. 10 ladies, I should say. Go on, Sammy. Sammy Rowland. If you can get past that player, she's in. Another good ball. Is that onside? Apparently is. Gillard calling for an offside. Linesman's not having it. 
up against Kat Kahneman here. It's good work from McAteer. He's already got one goal. Keris Adams slows her down. Ball goes into the back post, completely unmarked. She sets it. What? I think she she's normally unselfish. She must have known she was off. that goal straight away. Surely you're shooting there. Oh, okay, we've got the red line. I see it, so I can see it on my phone. Yeah, so we've got a, a red card. You can see that on the screen. I mean, it would take a miracle to come back from this, Sebby, wouldn't it? It's not impossible. It's not impossible. With this Nothing's team, impossible anything's for possible. this club. Get out long ball. If we just get Malika in. Like she's just a joke. Ke Kelly finds Malika. Right-footed pass back to Kat Kahneman. Works it forward. There's no one in that space. Come on, get forward. Push up, guys. Push up. Not. I mean, that's actually. It's worked well that kick because of the lack of yellow shirts we have around them. But I'm not convinced by the keeper's kicking at the moment. Kat Kahneman clears it for a throw. So you can do there, can Kelly gets a touch on that, and West okay. can take it drive, now. Drive, can drive, you drive. play Malika in? So Malika wants it almost short, so you can take the player on, but I'd like to get her in behind. Here she goes. See ya. The pace is unreal. Look at her go. Man's not giving up, in fairness. What I will say to She's Malika on. is she has made quite a few of those runs already now. Good Hayley West once again finding Sammy Rowland. Sammy Rowland, can we keep it alive? Kelly. Come on, just keep it ticking. That's fine. That's good, Sophie. Kat Kahneman here. They're going to look for Keris Adams down the right side. Cleared by Rab John. Better from us. Yeah, Malika's almost inviting the player to then beat them, but maybe just try and beat them first time with the ball over. Do you know what I mean? Don't yeah. let it... Cause she, she also needs to refill her tank a little bit as well, I think. Yeah. She's honestly done some serious amount of mileage. Anaerobic sprinting, that is... She's got an engine. But you need to fill it up every now and then. Or charge it. Griffiths. Charge it up. Adams. Griffiths gets the ball. Good strength from the new signing. Sophie Kelly looks in for Roland. Doesn't quite make it, but Emma Samways is there. Good defending, though, from Hoare. Comes back to Keris Adams. Keris looking for Roland. Roland chests it down in the box. Can we get one? Just imagine what it could do. Sophie Kelly. This is the best bit of possession the hashtag have probably had this game. Emma Samways beats her player. Showing what Emma can do now. Gets the a corner for the go. tags. Let's go. Go on, hashtag. Let's nick one. Just throw a cat amongst the pigeons. Throw a tag amongst the... Throw a grace amongst the pigeons here. Yeah. <laughs> we actually got a cat. Now we have. Cat, I mean, you should have really. Grace is the one more likely to... Oh, a cat gets goals. God. So if the is going to take this, it's going to be an outswinger, guys. We've had some decent joy with these deliveries so far. Kelly whips it in. Here we go. Gillard! Oh, oh, it's headed oh. away by Hoare. Malika just does well to get oh, something on that. Oh, I heard that. No calls Correctly. for a handball. I think it was more of a chest one that time. Gillard yeah, with a chance. That right, if Malika's going to get it, get around Malika. Back gamble off her. She chest, she knees it down, sorry, brilliantly. Looks for the cross, goes to the keeper. Chance for Coventry now to counter. Getting a lot of joy down that left side at the moment. Long ball from the left back to the left winger. Comes inside now to Wiseman. Wiseman sprays it over to the right here for Jones, the player that got taken out in that red card incident. Over to Mann now, the right back. Can she deliver? Good blocking from Hayley West. She's having a fantastic game. Three red cards in one and a half games for the tags. Two first half red cards. Can't write it. 16's very free here, Jones. Closed down by Sandways, but d decoys her. Plays it to the edge here to Wiseman. Okay. Wiseman lays it off. Long range effort. Christy Howe's got that all day long. Confident hands there. For someone not been playing the game very long, they were out ready in position, weren't they? Professional hands. I'm trying to work out, we're almost playing like a 4 3 2 now. Howe's kick. So come back to Kahneman. She's got a bit of time. Go back. Good go. choice to head of that as well. Go back to Cat. I like it. Sent forward by Cat. 
Headed away by Rav John. Keris Adams gets there and finds Send Roland. Here we go. Malika. She's Malika in. with the pace here. Is there a foul? Malika One more. still going on her own. Oh, she tries to take him on. Maybe too much there. Oh, Ooh, keeper well just held on to it. I wonder if there was a chance for a curling effort for Malika at the edge of the box there. It's just so dangerous. Well, the odds were always against us. The fact is that nil-nil, we started the game well. We had the first yeah, big did. chance of the yeah, game. They then took two very good opportunities from set pieces, and then the red card has obviously hurt us massively. But we haven't got a huge amount to. We're doing really well. I'm impressed. I think we're doing really well. I am, especially it's, it's with the team, team from a professional league. You know, they're they're uh, a proper outfit. They've got players from the Super League on loan here. Hayley West, well done. Get rid of it. Well in Hayley. West is everywhere, isn't it? She covers every blade of artificial it's grass. One of them where on the balance of play that we've seen so far, even before the red card. If you were to play this game 10 times, it wouldn't be like they're going to win 10 at all. They would be very close, I'd no. say. We'd win uh, plenty. I think if we've got that opening Back battle, it's going to be a very interesting exactly. game. But often those goals are so important. The first goal in a game between two tightly fought sides changed the game state massively. Yeah, Eddie's just shown me a picture of that clearance off the line, that save yeah, exactly. from the goalkeeper, and it was literally right, inches, inches from being a goal. But you never know. that you know, Football's a funny old game. If they get a red card, if we nick a goal... You never know. These girls won't give up. That, I guarantee they will not. Chance of a shot here. Oh, wow. That one's gone in from the right back man on the volley. Decent strike and it's 3-0. Yeah, that's one of them. It's a good hit on her. Disappointing that one ends up in the back of the net, but it's tough. Very tough for the girls. They've got to keep their heads here. got to keep together. Keep fighting. Goal, it's the right back with the goal. She's pacey as well, the right back. She kept up with Malika on yeah, that last play down the left. And you got hit then, haven't you? Yeah. I'd be hitting that if that was me. And yeah. she's done very well. 3 0 down, then it's going to be an uphill battle now for sure. It's a shame. Right on the stroke of half times, so we've just heard the announcer confirm how many added on minutes it'll be. We could have just held on that extra goal, but wasn't to be. Chance here with the 16, Jones has been active. Plays it over to Rab John. Their fullbacks are going to be able to really push now. They've got the player advantage. McAteer on the ball now up against Kat Kahneman. She goes through nice the legs save. of Kat Kahneman. That's fantastic play from the young winger. Gillard blocks the cross. It's going to come back now to the edge of the box to Rab John. Whipped in on the left foot. Header. He's off target and she's given a corner though. Must have come off Hayley West. It was me saying I'd hit it, Spencer, so I am right footed, so that comment is not accurate, Dan. But Seb would probably hit it on his right foot as well, to be honest. And I'd hit it on my left. Tough for the girls, real tough. It's these sort of games where have more than enough quality to hold their own in this game. You just need a few of those breaks to go your own way, and that's the opposite of what's happened so far today. Got to deal with this corner now. Here comes the corner. Headed down. Off the line from Hayley West. Griffiths' clearance isn't particularly convincing. It's a good save Better. from Christy Howell. I'll tell you what, if she's not six foot, I don't think she saves that. That's nah, using every one. inch of her height there. Good for the bounce back with that one straight away. Going to be another corner. All causing problems every time there's a set piece or a ball into the box from either side. Definitely tough to both sides to defend against them. I'm just gutted that the girls haven't been able to finish with 11 players and see where they yeah, end up. Because I, I honestly think yeah. we'd have caused. A, we might. We, we still we might. might we still could. But I honestly think that they would have caused some problems. We saw that they were in the opening five or ten minutes, didn't we? Yeah. Anyway, the corner for Coventry. Whipped in. It's a low one. I'm not sure that would have actually made it on, but Gillard couldn't take the chance. Which out for the short here. Nothing for the short. Which yeah, the short. short corner. Emma Samways is going to try and get there, but obviously with the player down, when you go to stop them, you, you lose something somewhere else. Ball comes back to Wiseman. Good feet. Well, Ian Sammy. Sammy Rowland doing a defensive job. Send, send Emma. Send Shen Lee Samways here. That's oh, good tracking no, back from Rabjohn. There is great ball. Oh, oh, she stopped the run. Griffiths not quite able to burst through.
No foul, Monika. 16's covered some serious ground here. Jones sheds it over to Rab John, who's been getting forward a lot already this half. Plays it down the line here for Wiseman. Wiseman looks for Rab John in the inside. Could have come to Jones instead. Oh, the two players just not quite carry, linking carry, up. Carry, carry, carry. Now it's, it's literally Samways and Roland against three of them. But three on two is not too bad with these two. I'll take those odds. Roland not going to make it. We've got to be more careful with those passes. If it's not on, turn back. Yeah, it's tricky. Trying to force it a little bit. Runner from deep coming in here. Here's number six, Hall. Plays it over to Mann. And that is the half-time whistle. And that is as, as tough as the first half as you can take for the visiting team here. Hashtag United 3-0 down. There's a couple of early goals from Coventry from set pieces. And then a red card which really changed the game for Hashtag. Now finding themselves 3-0 down against the team two leagues above. It's going to be a hell of an uphill battle, Seb. Yeah, it really is. Like you said, it's been just gutted for the girls to not have a chance to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this side and see where they really are. But they've acquitted themselves very well so far. Let's hope we can have some fun in this second half and give us something to, uh, to enjoy and take home with us. We've got a lot still to play for this season, if it does come to an end today, which I'm not saying it definitely will. But if it does, we've still got a County Cup semi-final, which could easily be a final and a win. We, we won it last year. And we've got a league to win. And so I was, if I was Jason right now, I'd be saying, look, this... Regardless of what happens this game, there's a lot of big games to come. Show me you want to be in those games. Yeah, Show yeah. me you want to be first name on the team sheet and you're going to get us this promotion that we want and then we'll see where we end up in this match because I think that, um, you know, if you take this defeat the wrong way, if it is a defeat, it can, it can affect your confidence. We, we've got to remember, we're winning 90-odd percent of the games we play this team and that's the mentality we've got to take into this whole season, 100%. including today. What I will say is a final thing before we wrap for half-time is this team have had some massive score lines. I know against teams at lower opposition, but there's loads and loads of goals in it. It is incredibly unlikely that we can score four, yeah. but it's not impossible. But I, I never know. Football's it's a not thing. impossible. Could Coventry make a mistake in the second half? Could they find themselves exactly. a player down? Exactly. You never know until it's over. That's why I want you guys to stick with us. We're going to take a little break now at half-time. We'll be back soon. And, uh, yeah, best of luck to the tag in the second half. Hopefully we can make something crazy happen. It would be, it'd be bigger than an Istanbul it would be. comeback because they it weren't would. down to 10, exactly. were they? All right, we'll see you in the second half, guys. <laughs> there it is. No, 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 no. Wait, you're taking the absolute <laughs> three. I threw it right on that. <laughs> oh that little my bit there. god. Is it? Oh my god. I refuse to do videos like this with Scotty Pete. So today we have for you one pro. One semi pro. Featuring a ball launcher, volleys, free kicks, long range efforts, you name it. Let's go there! Come on! <laughs> okay, so the first one is going to be volleys, and Lee, why have you got your hand up? Well, I'm just looking at where I'm going to be hitting when I do free oh, kicks and all that today. So. The top bins. Okay, yeah. I, what, what does that mean then? Is that five points? So basically, if you hit that, you get five points. Is that additional to your one for scoring? No, just five. So you just get one for scoring, and you get five. 
for hitting the top bins. Let's go. Look who we've got, Freddie from the under 18s over at Hashtag. Look, are you going to be able to handle Scotty P today? Yeah, I've heard he's got a few little uh, good shots on him, so see what <laughs> <we're doing. laughs> Fingers crossed, buddy. We are ready. If you are ready, Scotty. You ready? Yeah, ready. Lee, you ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay, go. Oh, it's got in. It's not enough for keeps. That is one out of one for Scotty P. That's a decent start. Oh, what a save! Well, you're actually a joke. Great save. I rate that from you. Seriously, you're actually a joke. We wanted one in this video for you, and I think that might have been the one straight off the bat. Let's go. There's the one. <laughs> oh, Lee. Wait, come on, come on. Wait, you have to accept that. That's what a pro does, though. He's actually so cold. Oh my god. Yeah. Is, is there yeah. any, is I there asked any... for it. I asked for it right on that, that <laughs> oh little bit god. there. And he put it there. Oh my god. Is there any flat me being there now? Oh, Lee. I had to try and follow that with the camera lens. It moves so quickly. I think I got it. But <laughs> I hope you got Jesus. it. Jesus. Yeah. Lee, I can't lie. You're my shin roll one. Shinola. Shinola. Oi, Lee has started it strong, you know. It's a great start. Listen, semi-pro is still set, like you still got a semi. Wow. Let Dev see that one, man. I'll send Dev the link later. Okay, last attempt, Lee. What have you got in you? Oh! Try. Inches! That was close. It's difficult on that, because like, you get a bit of spin and everything, but just sort of guide it back into the corner. But I think the technique-wise, I think we're both both similar, left foot and right foot, so I think it looked quite similar. He's a baller, but what about free kicks? You're only good at them? It's taken a few of my time, but I don't know, we'll have to see. Let's go. Okay, so we've had to bring out the mannequins for this one. It is time for free kicks. The points still stand, by the way. Five points if you hit the... Uh, the top bins and one point for a goal. Scotty, do you fancy yourself on this one? Uh, yeah, I take a few, um, you know, training after training, so I back myself to get at least at least one. Okay, uh, try we'll take that. Up. Fair play to you, mate. There it is, there it is. <gasps> oh! Oh! My chest! See, that's the difference between, yeah? This makes me sick Bro. to be in his presence. Bro and semi -pro. You're a sick man, Scott. Consistency. Consistency is key. That is a joke. That corner is just getting out. I feel it's sorry for that crossbar. Beat Ross twice. He's hit one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mate, you're taking the absolute. Top bins though. Well, it's not top bins though, but it was very close. I hit the crossbar twice before and then that one's just yeah. clipped it and gone in. So. Game situation as well. Yeah. Keep on getting that. Nah, I don't think so. Hey guys, I've just hijacked LP's camera whilst we're uh, changing over to Lee's side for the free kick. Lou's gonna hate me because as I went to sit down and get a better shot, um, I stopped one of the cameras by accident and hit the record button, so he's gonna have to resync it. I'm not going to tell him because I don't want him to bite my head off, so, yeah, here he is. <laughs> He's got a lot to live up to, your ones are unbelievable, by the way. But you did only score one. But at the end of the day, it's one out of, yeah, one out of three. It's true, it's, it's true, one out of three, it's tough. Oh! I went through the head, I think I snapped it. I think you've actually snapped his head. Let's have a look and see if he's alright. Oh, no. No, it's like this. R.O.P. Look, it's fixed. Miss, look. No, it's, it's fine, Lee. Nothing. Oh. Oh! Off the Denver. The technique was there. As the well. technique was there. It was a good. It was a great effort. Yeah. Keeper had no chances on. Decapitation number one. Off the Denver second. Got to be a goal. It's got to be a goal for the third. Hello. Oh, there it is. Right, so free kicks, both very decent. But what do you want to do next, Oi? 
Might as well get the ball launcher out, I think. No way have we got that here. Oh, we have as well. <laughs> I've never used it Thank before. You, man. The ball yeah. launcher is, is made a few enemies in my time. I remember I'm going to start the clip of when I absolutely hit Tim Pittman and he dropped his coffee. I had to own some money for that coffee. That was, that was funny. <laughs> Lee, this is no joke, by the way. Ball launcher's out. 80 miles an hour. That is seriously no joke. No one should ever be driving that fast for start. No one should but... be driving that fast and no one should have a ball pinged at them that, that fast. That's one. One. You have to remember, if you see some balls like in the background, it's because we have to make sure we get them in consistently. So that is one. Oh, I oh, had he done that. <laughs> I was going to get one like that. There it is. There. No, 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 no. I refuse. I refuse to do videos like this with Scotty P. Right, bring that down, by the way. Oh, oh. <laughs> Scotty P, bring it in, big man. Well done. Absolute beast. It's tough, that. Curves everywhere. All right, Lee, you ready? Nah. All right, sounds confident. <laughs> you see what he's got. <laughs> oh, on his oh. chest. Oh. That's the one, that's yeah. the one I didn't want. I want a bit of flair. Oh, oh, I love that. Casual. It's just so casual. Yeah. It's, just, it's one of them ones. The Techniques there, yeah. Oh, and he's played it back to him as well. We love to see it. Hold it. Oh, oh. it's in. Oh, we yeah. love that. On we his right foot as well. Wow. Well done, boys. We are now setting on the final challenge, which is long range. This should be a good one. Ready when you are, Lee? I'm ready for this one. You can try and score now, Lee. Yeah, you want to try and score now? Hello. Oh, oh, oh. What a finish. What a finish. Fair play. One out of three. Save, Low. keeps. Good save. Well done. Oh, oh no. That's unlucky. That's unlucky. Ha! Got a nice goal in there, so I'll try and match that, but I'll try and get at least two. Two to win, I say. Because he's a baller. Wait, so it's a, blow, it's a tough one, isn't it? Why are you shooting so hard? Last one of the day. Right, he's going to hit the top bins, I'm calling it. He's got a bang run in. I actually hope he does. Okay. <laughs> he's banged that in. <laughs> oh, he, look, he's just so effortless for this guy. I D. Keeps. Keeps. I like that one, you. Yeah. There we go, last one for Scotty P. Okay, just gotta give a round of applause for that, because that is just a joke. Semi pro. Yeah. Hi. All of and a pleasure. Both hashtag. That's what dreams are made of, boys. Okay, so that is going to be that for today's video, guys. We've had some unbelievable goals and shots from Scotty P, and the same for Lee. But the difference is, I think Lee might be on the bench. There's no need for that, Lee, really, mate. There isn't. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, make sure you check all the links down in the description. Shout out for these guys for getting involved. Drop the video a like. Shout out to Freddie being such a legend goal. And what can they not forget to do, boys? Don't forget yeah, to hashtag, hashtag it. it.
So are we back on commentary? Can you hear us in the chat? Let us know. You can hear us. Oh, fantastic. Hello. Can tap that on. Change it. Well, if we record it, we do, yeah. Hello, hello, hello. We're back. Second half. No, we're, rec we're recording. It's all good. Yeah. Right. There's been a substitution. Sasha Adamson is on for Lauren Griffiths. And there's also been a change for Coventry as we get underway for the second half. Uh, the centre half, number six, Hoare has gone off. She's been replaced by uh, Whip, number 19. So a couple changes, one for each team. Adamson on in the middle for Griffiths. Gives us a little bit more attacking impetus in there, I'd say. Right, Spen, listen up. I'm going to set us an objective. There's one objective, and when we achieve that, we then build another one. Objective okay, one, score good? a goal. Score a goal, I like it. Score a goal. Let's get a goal. Let's be, let's be honest, it's a big ask, though, isn't it? It's a big ask. Ten that's players against be teams two leagues above, and we want to score a goal. Let's just do it, though, shall we? Let's score a goal first, then do it. I want to give the reasons for all the members to get the um, hashtag emojis out there. Exactly. All well, players have gone down there for Coventry. Let's remember as well, guys, this is, a, this is a, one of our, what I hope to be many future opportunities like this for the hashtag women and men's teams playing these sorts of sides. You know, we could have drawn a Super League side today. Here we go. Sasha Adamson's already dispossessed Bang the player it. here. Emma Samway's hitting one. Not her best effort, but an early chance thanks to Adamson's pressing game. Yeah, hopefully we can have plenty more opportunities to play sides of this calibre from this level of the, of the football pyramid. Maybe we'll get to this level of the football pyramid ourselves one day. But... It's a process. You know, it's a process. We've, we've, we've created a club overnight. We're not even seven years old. We've not even been in non-league for five years yet. And women even less because we merged with them later. And this is just all good, positive moves in the right direction. You know, don't judge a, a, a team on a game. You judge a team on, a, on an era. And we're in a very positive era as a club. Absolutely. So this is all just about paying your dues, being parts of competitions, getting to the fourth round FA Cup for the first time in our history and seeing what we can do today and build from. Sammy Rowland gets the ball back here. Can she find someone? Looks for Samways. Find Samways. Samways, hold on to it if you can. Looks for Malika. It's a good start from the tags, though. Morning, good Chris. tracking back from Kerris Adams. And Sasha Adamson on the ball. Very good player. Bit of pressure on her there, though. Dispossessed. Good from Hayley West, who's playing left back now after the, the, the switch up. which saw Malika go high forward. Good running here, though, from Wiseman in the middle. Plays it out to the wide... Areas, Ryan Doyle's on the ball. Little one two with Wiseman. Ryan Doyle gets it back. Got Rab Jab, uh, Rab John, sorry, in, in absolutely acres of space here. Onto her right foot. It's a good low pass, to be fair. Grace Gillard applying pressure. Chance for Coventry to whip one in. Haley West stands tall. Blocked by the captain. And we're. Can I have a throw in for Coventry? Malika could come and get this for us. She does. Dispossessed, though, by a good tackle from Morris, who's on a yellow card herself. It's going to come all the way back to Whiteman, who's not the Man City goalkeeper, by the way. I've had it confirmed that that player was recalled by Man City. Down the left here. Jones, heavy touch in the middle. Samways can pickpocket. Good well feed. Find Sasha. Almost could have taken it in a stride and then Malika wanted it. Rav John. Good movement from Coventry, you've got to say. I mean, obviously it's easier when you've got the player advantage, but they're doing everything right, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Got to give it to them, obviously. Feeling full of confidence now. They're in a very, very cushioned position right now. We just need to probe and push and just find those cracks and try and just turn a little bit of momentum. Give us some magical moments this second half. All you can do is win the half we're in now. Try and do that with 10 players. It's going to be tricky, but I think we can do that. Because Coventry will sit off a little bit probably. Just try and protect the ball. Passed into the box from Rabjohn. She's getting a lot of the ball, the young left back. Plays it out wide here to Wiseman. Wiseman, she's got Thomas behind her. Thomas goes back to Wiseman. She's offside. Nice. Number 20, I'm told, uh, which is the Rabjo on the young left-back, is on loan from Aston Villa. Mm. You can see she's got a bright future. She's, I'm assuming she's young. She looks quite young. She but very young yeah. She's been active in the game. I think she's been one of the, the better players for, for Coventry. I think she takes some of their set pieces as well. Yeah, she had a free kick effort, didn't she? 
I've been impressed by her. I've been impressed by McAteer. Yeah, McAteer, lovely Cruyff turn over yeah. there. It's quite nice, yeah. isn't it? Through the legs of, of Cannaman, which is no easy feat, let me tell you. Roland's going to chase this down here. Heavy touch from the captain, but she does get it back to the keeper, Whiteman. Whiteman plays it over to the right back. The problem is when we do press them, they've just got so many options. Yeah. You've got to just applaud the running of Roland and Malika here, though. It's our ball as well. It's not. Wow. What wow. I think is important here is that we don't do anything that hurts us going forward. We've got some massive games coming up, so haven't we, Seb? Norwich. Yeah, we don't need to throw the whole towel in for this one game. No. You know, like, go so crazy to get back a very, very tough deficit to overturn and then jeopardise what is the main agenda this year, which is getting out of the division. Monique has got the ball back here, gives it to Sammy Rowland. Sammy Rowland tackled well, though, by Thomas. Back to the keeper again. Just so much room and space. We'll take that, though. Not really, uh, Jack. I'm not Spencer Jones. I'm not even sure it will because it's not a, a 11 versus 11 game now. So I don't think you can say it's about rooms to strengthen. And this is against a tier two side as well. So I, don't, I, don't, I think our squad as it is would do very well at tier three. I think we'd be top half of the league, personally. I think that's. Just, I personally believe that to be the case for both our men and women's teams. I think they'd both be top half teams minimum in the league above. As are, as they are. Sasha. Looking for Malika. It's not been a bad start to the half, but then nor was the first half. No. <sighs> Play replaying it back the whole time. That first goal, if it had come to us, could be in a very different situation now. He spoke about it earlier. Tough task, and things have not gone our way. Just got to keep plugging away now, girls. Just keep plugging away. Chances from set pieces. Try and be patient and wait. Cannot really afford to force it with a player down and leave too many gaps because they will put it completely to bed. This is a big chance here, though, Spen. Nice corner. We've got targets to aim at here. Good delivery, please. Corner comes in. Roland and Gillard looking for it. Gillard gets a touch but takes it behind her. It could be a goal kick. Yes, it is. Was that a try? Yeah, Canvey and Avery are both above Villaricky right now in the league above. Taken quickly here. Canvey and Avery came up from our league. Villaricky came down from National League South in the men's side. Men Karras. Chance here for Coventry. Great ball through the middle. Christy Howe's going to have to come. And it's a dangerous one. She got a touch on it, which stops the potential red card. And that was, that was enough. Yeah, that's a tough one again. Ball over the top, Corbin. That's a problem once again. When you commit them players forward to try and get back into it, leaves it right for a turnover from Coventry. I think Christy's just got to start right off her box. You know, like start a bit further out. Yeah, yeah if, if, if they lob you, they lob you. Do you know what I mean? At 3-0. Yeah. Just allow us to get back up at the pitch as much as possible. She's done well there, though, Christy. Well done. You've got to remember, this is only, a, I think, her fourth game of football. It's crazy. Maybe a fifth. I mean, she's played a few times for our reserves as well, so it might be a few more than that. But in terms of first team, I think this will be her fourth or fifth game for us. You know, you're playing in the FA Cup fourth round. Can you imagine the same thing that happened in the men's game? It's outrageous. Well, in. Here we go. Here just send her. I mean, just send you've got her. to get yeah, Oh, on. it was a handball, though, no? <laughs> it just it wasn't intentional by any means, but it did pop up and touch the number four's hand I think the captain Bartle if we just can get Malika through one on one that's, that's, all we need. that's our chance yeah, I think that's, that's going to be the one Sammy might have to turn provider a little bit good Brilliant, Sammy. Sammy that's nothing wrong with that oh the, the captain four she, she's she's a bit clumsy but she gets she get, makes it well that wasn't actually the captain that time it was man but they always get that last touch don't they they just stop you getting away from them yeah man's come across now she was playing right back in the first half 
She's now gone centre back. She scored a goal, didn't she? The, the, the long range distance yeah. goal. And uh, the, the substitute's come on at right back. Here we go. This is it. She's got so much distance to run, isn't she? It's a 400 metre sprint to get to the goal. And she's done it seven or eight times already. Oh, wow. She had three players <laughs> around her, Sebi. She's still going, Lee. It's just a joke. Just got to see if she can then keep possession. Oh, good feet. That's McAteer again. McAteer again. She's got very good feet. Any, Great footwork. Any, any relation to Jason, do you reckon? Commits players. Switch of play. Over to Rab John. Good touch from her. The Aston Villa low knee. You can see why. Aston Villa obviously a women's Super League side. As they are Premier League side and the men's side. That's going to be met by her again here. Gets lots of the ball, does Rab John. Left foot cross in a what dangerous a area. Is. Gillard had to get something on it, and she does, and Christie comes through. Good from Hale. Got a good kick on it, I'll tell you that much. Adamson. There's a touch to it. Oh, it's Ooh. gone off the face of the... Player with the, uh, the goggles Sense, on there. It. There we go. Malika, we can, can you get there first? Great pressing. Captain does get there, though. Kicked out by Whiteman. Good challenge there from Morris. McAteer once again on the turn, getting away from Hayley West, putting a great ball down the line. Cat Kahneman with some defending to do here. Cross comes in towards Jones. Jones lays it back to McAteer. McAteer spreads it across. It's going to come to Wiseman, who hits it. Christie's well no... Damn. No problem for Christy Howe there. Kat Kahneman gets it short. Does well to find the pass around the yeah, corner. Nicely played there. It's got to be long. It's got to be long. It's all we can do, really. Oh, nice great feet from Thomas, yeah. Plays it inside. Good tackle from Sasha. Now we've got numbers here. We've actually got three on three. We've got to use it while we've got it. Three on three, Emma Samway is trying to burst through the middle here. We know what she's capable of. She runs over to the right, though. She's a little bit isolated, and Coventry have got bodies back. She plays it in low towards Sasha, and it's a corner for the tags. Nice. Here we go. Another corner. Bright and beat Since the restart, you wouldn't say it's obvious we'd play less. Why is she away? Ball comes in. Another corner. Kelly, can you whip one in? Sophie Kelly here. I wonder whether she might just try and get round her there. What's up with Kelly Wellfall today? Injured. Substitution. She's been good, Jones. She's going to go off. She's been uh, playing across both wide areas for Coventry today. She's going to be replaced. As you would, Coventry, Coventry will come with nine substitutes here, so you're obviously going to use the ones they can. And I think get some of their other players. There might be a double substitution here actually happening. I think so. it is. You're right, Spam. I'm not sure. I think they're allowed up to five. So that's cross on for Jones. She's the girl on a book him. Katie Wise. I, I don't see that name on him. My sheet anywhere. 21. 21, 21. Oh, Morris. Morris, Morris, yeah. Two, two debutants. Home debuts anyway. Goodwin and Cross are on. I wonder if Cross has got a good cross on her. Ball comes to Cross straight away. First involvement for the number 11 on the left side. Going to play it around the back here, are they? No, Captain clears the lines. Flicked on. Gillard gets there. I think Brighton is beating Newcastle. Oh, Liverpool. Wow. Malika heads it for Roland to chase. Won't go out, so it's gonna have to deal with this. Getting through some serious running, aren't they, the tags today? Yeah, I'm telling you. 
It, honestly, Malika. If we can't come out of this game three 0 that's actually a really good achievement. Oh, like yeah. from this half onwards. From this half, on, absolutely. Yeah. Obviously, the red cards changed the game, but from the point of having the red card to only concede one in what seventy minutes of football, sixty minutes of football, that's impressive. Corner for the tags. Can we get that goal? Can we achieve I the objective? Seven set objective for us. One. I want everyone to get either the. No, it has to be the hashtag emoji. Hashtag emoji. Get that ready to be spammed when we score. Gillard. I don't want to belittle a goal by saying all we want to do is score a goal. It's, a, it's just a goal at the highest level of football this club has ever played at. That's what we want today. Corner's going to be taken by Sophie Definitely. Kelly. Gillard and Kat Callaman make it a run for it. Oh. Gillard almost gets there. Roland puts a high foot on that. It's a looper. Over. Played over to the right side here. Sent down the line. Good flick. Kat Kahneman gets there though. Can we get Emma Samways on the ball here? Played down again. Grace Gillard will meet it. Sasha Adamson on the ball. I don't, I'm not sure if she was trying to play to Malika or roll Sammy up, there. Sammy up. could roll a player here. Can you play it to Emma Samways? She's open. Can you tuck it into Samways? Oh, she hits it instead. And it was a decent effort, you have to say. The keeper's done well to save it. Yeah, Sammy didn't have a huge amount of room to generate much backlift there. She did the old toe poke technique. There was an option for Samways, but when you're there to be hit him, the amount of goals she scored from that sort of area this year, cannot blame her. Another corner spin. I've got a feeling this is where our goals might come from. We haven't even mentioned it. Sammy Rowland is a top goal scorer in the FA Cup this year. Yeah, I know, it's crazy. Currently sitting on 11 goals. Maybe that's why she took the shot there, trying to make it 12. 12 goals won it last year, by the way. Um, and it's going to be hard because of the, obviously the, the higher ranked teams come into the competition later than us. So she might win the FA Cup Golden Boot this year. And 11 goals right now. Here she is again, Sammy Rowland. Uh, she tried to pass to Keris Adams, but Keris had ran past Bring the ball. Back, I'm back now. Good from Sammy just to stop that initial threat. Well, really Sammy. good. Sammy on the ball. Can she play it to Malika? She can. Keris outside of her. Dummies it. Tries to use it. Maybe a bit late. Malika not giving up. Great work from Malika, but they will come away with the ball, finally. And it's great running here from Wiseman through the middle of the hashtag midfield. We've got two at the back post lining up. Callaman's marking two right now. Wiseman gets it back, puts it across the box. Was there a touch on that? I think so. Goal kick? No. Goal kick. Um, the thing is, when you tackle Malika, you've got to tackle her three times. Yeah. The true. first one is not enough. That's what makes it so hard. It's not just you've got to tackle it. You've got to do it at least twice every the time. The chat's saying that, s that Sammy should have passed to Samways there. Potentially, but the thing is, when you scored that many goals... It wasn't a bad effort. No, it wasn't a bad effort. I think it if the effort had been worse, it would have been you know, definitely one you yeah. could criticise, but she's, she's almost scored, bless her. Kahneman. That's going to go out of play. This is a massive pitch. It's like Wembley size. Oh, yeah. That's what makes it even more like the fact of 10 on this pitch against a team yeah, where yeah, this yeah. pitch suits them anyway. It's exactly. like just compounding things. 10 players. Samway's come away with the ball nicely here. Again, we've got numbers here. If she can unleash someone, just keep it. If, if the pass isn't on, she needs support. There's no one behind her. That's the yeah, problem. It's tough. She runs into a hole in the end there. Eventually, they're going to dispossess her there. It's down if you do, down if you don't. You play that aimlessly forward. It looks like you're giving it away. Then you hold onto it too long and you get snuffed out anyway. It's just yeah. It's tough. I I often everything's will tough about this game. Yeah. I often will just... Look at this. Malika's done well. It's not gone off, though, amazingly. South row. Sammy Rowland on the ball again here. Got red shirts all around her. Is there a pass on? She's asking for help. She goes to Sophie Kelly. Kelly plays right, it early nice. to Malika. Malika takes a heavy touch, but improvises to find Sasha. But once again, the captain runs away with it. She's a strong physical. I think she's there, Grace Gillard, that, that yeah. captain there. Bartle's the name. Defending the game. So imagine commentary about potentially going to go from being a side that haven't won all season to winning two in a row. Unless something crazy happens here in Coventry. The substitute cross running at Keris Adams here. Plays the ball into the middle. Gillard had to deal with it. Mm, Sasha pressure. does the same. Oh 
Loads of room though for Jones to get this. Sorry, not Jones, for Thomas to get this uh, throw in. Gonna come back to Rav John. Cross. Coventry looking to create something here. Thomas crosses, headed away by Gillard, and Kelly gets something over to Malika. She can just beat there. Oh, it's good pace for a man, though, isn't it? She's not slow herself. Christy Howe will get that one, though. Thank, Christy. Thank you to Liam Smith for the 13 months. He says, uh, sorry, Liam Small, good to see the girls still fighting despite the circumstances. Got to keep the faith up the tags. I love that. Yeah, I'm very proud of these ladies, whatever happens here today. Sonny Rowland, chest it down. Sammy, or I should say Sam Ways, looking to get the ball back for us. Trying to build something down the right here, Coventry up against Sophie Kelly. Hashtag still with substitutes that can be done. Will we see a debut for Maisie Barker on loan from West Ham? Sasha Adamson meets this. Touch from Rab John is good enough. Keris Adams gets there. She's almost played it to herself there. Not quite. All cuts out the second one. Substitution. We're going to see Ava Frazzoni come on. I wonder if that will be for... Who will that be for? Keris Adams going off. So who's going to right back then? Maybe... Uh, we're going back three? Not sure. Sophie Kelly dropping in? I'm not sure. Ava definitely won't be going in there. Maybe he's just going for it, but back three. I think he might be. West, Gillard and Kahneman with Sasha Adamson and Malika as wing backs, I think. That's what I'm that's what I'm picking up. Cross here, running down this side. Can she cross one in? She goes low though, plays it to Sasha. Sasha looking for Samways. Can we play Malika through the middle here? That's what it's gotta be, I think. A little bit of afters there. Shows there's a bit of fight in this one still. Alice TG, thank you for the two months. It's common goals. Malika Hatrick into Grace for the winner from a corner. We'll take it. We'll take it. Get that. Um, hell of an arse. Oh, that's that. a bit heavy there. Yeah, you, you, it's, when you get a red card, you want to be on a small pitch, don't you? In the big pitch. Yeah, you want to just get condensed and really complete opposite. Yeah, if we'd been playing on a pitch this size yesterday, the men would have had a real problem. No spoilers. But watch that video coming out next few days. You do not want to miss it. He had everything that game. In a terrible way, though. Ball comes across. Two cross. Loads of space here. Ava Frazzoni, though, using that energy she's got as a new replacement to try and cause a problem. Malika's going to apply some pressure. Oh, here comes McAteer. Chance for Coventry here as the ball comes in. Three at the back post and she really should do better there, Ryan Doyle. Yeah, it's a great ball in once again. Set pieces and crosses into the box just causing absolute havoc. 22, was it? Ryan Doyle. Ryan, yeah, yeah she's, uh, she'll be kicking herself on that one. Thank you to all our new members and our renewing members as well. Reminder, you get loads of games like this for free. Well, not for free. <laughs> it's part of your membership, which costs £5 a month. Great ball down the right here for Sandway. So you can get there. Um... And you get to watch men's games, 90 minutes of them as soon as the game finishes or sometimes live. You get to watch reserve games for the men. You get to watch women's games. Up to 10 live streams a month available for our members before the non-member YouTube audience sees them. It's a real perk. And most importantly, that £5 a month really helps the club. It goes towards letting us do what we do. Throw in for Coventry. James Hodges has just become a member for 21 months. If you don't know, James Hodges is the man actually running this stream right now. He works for the club. And Boris has gifted a sub. Boris, thank you very much for gifting a membership. Uh, and Spenny Gaming has done 20 months now. Push on and get the league win one now as the target for the girls. They've been excellent all season and deserve it. Spenny's Gaming, I couldn't agree with you more. Great name as well. This lady's come on as a sub, and she's a good win. She's tall, by the way. Yeah, it's her home nice. debut, apparently. It's a corner. She's very tall, isn't she? Look. She might be six foot one. I think she's as tall as Christy, isn't she? Well, Christy's six, six two. Foot. She's taller than that. Yeah. Christy's six foot. Okay. Yeah. 
I think she's 6-1. Be a threat in the box from this corner. They've got a very particular routine, Coventry. They all sort of linger together around sort of the uh, penalty spot distance. And they just make darting runs at different positions. We're in hashtag doing a zonal marking instead. Corner comes in. Gets a flick off Sophie Kelly. Samways will get something on it just to try and get us out of danger. But she's given a little bit for Hayley West to do. No, he's the hashtag drum, isn't it? I believe. I'm not sure. There was a drum in the committee room. Oh. Sammy Rowland takes that down brilliantly. Keep the ball, though, if you can, Sammy. Tell you what. Oh, she's well done brilliantly. Right. Eva Frazzoni to your right. She plays her. Ava's got Samways with her. Don't just look after it, because you've got no one with you, Ava. Frazzoni on the right here. Can you get a corner out of this? That'll do. That'll do. Good work from the Bermudan International. Sometimes when you're running forward, it's better to do nothing than something. Just keep advancing. Yeah. Keep advancing, advancing, so advancing. Ironically, advancing, like advancing, rugby, advancing. which is which is played here. Throwing comes to Sasha Adamson with a point to prove off the bench here. Ah, Struggled to get in the starting lineup right. since having a bad injury in the opening game of the season against AFC Wimbledon. Throw in. That's going to go long here. Headed well by Ryan Doyle. Gillard deals with it the first time. Ryan Doyle wins the header for the second time. Now it's the tall, newly inserted good win. It gets past Gillard. Christie Great. does really you know well. Christie and Grace did a bit of a sandwich job there. Grace did not give up there. Just even though she got beaten initially, just kept on her heels, made her presence felt. And then between them, they've done a great job of stopping that. That was a really good chance. Would have put the game definitely out of bed. Sophie Kelly's going to go off for Maisie Garwood here. So like for like change, CDM for a CDM. Maisie Garwood been limited mostly to substitute appearances this season. But she comes on in almost every game and she started a fair few as well. Played recently in America in a college course and now she's back in England. It's a free kick here. Taken short to Grace. Grace with not a lot of options at all. Yeah, Christine Grace done really well there to stop that. What well, was a very good run from the substitute, wasn't it? Good win. She looks lively. Is it dangerous? Kat Kahneman kicks it over her head. Straight to cross. Good win's offside. Grace knew it. And the linesman agrees. Lines up, lines up, lines up. Yeah, that was actually that chance as she ran through was like other than the goal for, um, or the red card was the first time they actually like properly just broken us yeah. down and gone through. We've actually done it more than them in terms yeah. of getting down and yeah, through, yeah, but yeah, yeah the, the, it was the set pieces, wasn't it? They killed us. Yeah, set pieces, don't they? I'll be good. Nuka jumped a bit early there, I think. Goodwin once again comes from behind to cause a problem for Gillard. She's quick, by the way. Hayley West getting across though. Hayley West, and she's done what enough. A challenge. But it's going to fall to another player, and then oh, Gillard comes oh, through. Defending. You know, three 0 down with ten players. You could be forgiven for giving up on those a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you really can. But if they don't give up, that is fantastic from Hayley West and Grace Gillard. What a danger the substitute is, though. Yeah, she's me. quick. She's tall and quick. She's like Harland. Roland, good feet. Can you play it to Sasha here? Good. Ava Frazzoni, can you get past your player? Almost. Oh. Another chance, though, for McAteer to run. Hayley West has just busted a gut to stop that last chance. She's going to do it again here. McAteer with the fast feet, lays it back here. Great block from Gillard, though. It's going to fall to 22. What oh, what a save, save from Christie! Oh, oh, the rebound goes in, but that's harsh. I've got to say, Christie Howe didn't deserve that after a fantastic first save. And that is brutal because the girls have been defending 
like absolute warriors there. They're throwing their bodies on the line. Keeper makes a fantastic save, Christy. But then, you know, it's just, for the first time, Spen, commentary really showing some real, the real quality. We know they've got in their side. Yeah. They're really cutting us open now. They've got the extra player, but still. It was it was a good finish on the on the yeah, rebound. To be fair, finish. it had to be hit well. It was right in the top corner. But Christy Howe's come into a difficult game here, and she's actually done quite well. I've been she quite impressed really with her as a substitute yes. goalkeeper. And um, and listen, it's always a tough ask. This could have been the scoreline eleven v eleven easily. Know, you, know, yeah, you, yeah. you could argue it should be really from a Coventry perspective. You know, we, we've been beating teams in our own league by double figures. So what should a team two leagues above us do to us? Yeah. You know, and they haven't to be honest because no, not at all. We're more than held our own in this no. game. It's, it's always going to be an uphill battle once that red Spurs card came in. Now. I've been really impressed. The only thing we could do a little bit better, and it's one of them, is do you try... I mean, obviously, we're pushing to try and get back in this game. Jason's gone to a three at the back with 10 players to try and get back into this game. Understandably so. It's a cup competition. But as a result, you know, we're getting the ball, we're trying to attack, and most times we're losing the ball quite quickly. Yeah, and at some point now, you know, we're never going to lay down completely. But at some point now, you need to just make sure there's a little bit of preservation yeah. about things. You don't want to completely capitulate. They've got so many numbers over here. We've got no right back on the pitch right now. I think our back three need to get across a little bit more. It's like we're playing a back four without a right back rather than a back three. That could be another goal here. Luckily, it's wide. Gillard made it difficult. Yeah, it's always as well going to happen with the size of the pitch. The longer the game goes on, the more the gaps will appear. Just the pure tiredness, the shift the girls have had to put in since they're reduced to 10 players is quite crazy. There obviously is a large amount of subs allowed here today because they've made about five already. I think this is the fourth and fifth. This will be the final two subs they can do, I think. Goal scorer Thomas going off here. Chamat coming on for Thomas, number eight for Coventry. And the, the striker, Ryan Doyle, is going to make way. Be replaced by number 16 for Coventry. Number 16 I saw on the board there, but maybe it's 15. Butler on then. So Butler and Chamat on for Thomas and Ryan Doyle for Coventry. I think that's all their subs done now. Don't think they can do more. Same objectives, Ben. Get the goal. Get the goal. Kahneman's throw. It's going to come through to Sasha here, who I think has been hard-working and industrious since she came on. He's Ava Fazzoni, also a substitution for the tags. Does well to look for Malika here. Can you play it to Roland down the line? Yeah. Difficult one on the left foot. Samways, you never know. Oh, oh. The thing is, that, we've got no one to apply exactly. pressure on Once that. you apply pressure, then there's just one pass from having loads of room again, loads of space, which is... What makes this so hard? Gillard back to Christy Howe. Sends it forward. Oh, he's back it back on the pitch there, I think. He's gone over the hoardings, the player. I think that's McAteer. Here we go. Malik's get forward. Onside here. Samway's trying to get it past the player. Roland picks it up. Malika wants it at the back post. She's in acres. Roland, can you get it across? She's got too many red bodies on either side of her. She oh. picks out a pass into a dangerous area. Luckily, it comes through to Gillard here. Cross heads it. Frazzoni oh, wins header. it. Sasha oh, thought about a shot there. Corner. Corner. It's a corner. Ah. No, not having it. I think it did clip something there. I've heard a sound. Defending's been brilliant, if you actually think about it. So, you know, the, the, it could have easily just, heads could have dropped here. Oh, absolutely. The battle shown, the last 
two times they broke into the box. Girls actually throwing their bodies in the way of the ball. And, and it working. Hayley West and Grace Gillard, the most notably. Gold wins a free kick there, I think. Gillard's going to take this one. Can we get something? Can we achieve that objective? Not having Gillard in the box is a bit of a loss, but she's going to put this one in on the left foot. Gold would get something on it. Back with the goalkeeper, Whiteman. Throws it to Mann. Ava Frazzoni done well there. <laughs> That's more at home for the Coventry United rugby team, I think, that tackle. Yeah, not the best. I enjoyed it. Nothing spiteful in it, just... I mean, was spilling of enthusiasm to try and win the ball back. I don't mean yeah, it's in a mean now, way, but if they were to get a player for injury out here, they would be down to 10 because uh, they've done all their subs, I think. That is true. So, just saying. Apparently, Isabel Goodwin, who's the tall striker, has been causing us problems since she came on, uh, went to the school of Luis Inio. Grace Gillard's been called over here by the referee to have a chat about something. Gillard, she wasn't involved in that. She's been called over. She didn't do it. And when she's asking for your conversation with the player, sometimes they ask for the captain to be there, don't they, at the same time as they... I don't think that was particularly no, menacing for no. me, but it was a foul. It was just a foul, yeah. What is going on here? Well, the players have seen some treatment, but she's technically off the pitch. It's true. So we could play. It's true. Is she getting a book in the player? I don't know, Ava. You know what? There's a discussion here. I've got... No, surely not. You think they're going to send her off? No, no, no. I was wondering whether they're saying, are you okay to let him have an extra sub? No. <laughs> There's no way that's happening. That'd never happen. I mean, I would never put it past them, but... There's a conversation going on between one of the hash is that sh Jason in the hat next to Grace yeah uh, that's Craig I think there's some conversation going on you're just talking tactics I think I think so yeah I don't know why the game's not carried on I know is it because your legs like technically on the pitch or something but that close you roll off don't you surely she's basically off the pitch I think the only reason for you not protesting it is the hashtag player's probably quite grateful for a break for a few minutes, the amount of running they're doing at the moment. The only thing I can think is that she's actually seriously hurt. Well, she hasn't moved a huge amount in a few minutes now. Let's hope she's not. What's going on here then? And Grace has returned back into position now. The game should just carry on now. Linesman's getting talked to on the ref. I think I see him holding his headset. If she, I'd be surprised if Eva even gets a yellow for that. It wasn't it wasn't uh, violent? No, Grace is now talking to the assistant. I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit of a loss. I think she might have hurt herself. That's the only thing I can think. That no, which, is, which is obviously not very nice. But no. the game carries on still, right? She's off the pitch. You can tell she's unless off the pitch. she's slightly on it. And no, you I can't don't think she is. Her. I think I've seen the line. Like, she's so near it, like, she's in the way of the linesman and stuff, you know? Yeah, true. Yeah, she's an injury, yeah. Th th it's only five subs, though, right? I mean, yes, yeah, so they've done, Coventry have done all five, haven't they? They've got a substitute's board up. As if they're making another one. There they is, they've done it? five subs. Alfie, they've done five subs. Number seven, Brown, Ah, it could be a concussion, a concussion stuff, maybe. I, I'll be, I'll find it hard to believe you can get concussed from I'm that. telling you, that was all I could think the conversation could be about, whether there's going to be an extra sub. They've done six substitutes now, which I think is against the rules, so maybe it's a head injury then. That, that would explain why there was a conversation to be had about That's it. true. I think Jason's the sort of guy that would just allow it because so the of the situation the game is in, yeah. yeah. 
I feel it's the start of the second half though. Yeah. It was 2 0. Ball in. Headed away. Gillard meets it. Sasha finds, looks for Emma. Doesn't quite get to her. Big header for Malika. Man's been good. She's impressed me. Yeah, Number she's two. Been very good. They're queuing up here on the edge. It's going to come. It would have come through to Christie, but Grace intercepted it. What minute are we in now? Uh, we're in the 84th, 85th, but there'll be a few added on, I imagine. Yeah, there'll be at least five, I think. <coughs> Throw in for Coventry. Sasha Adamson following her player all the way. Come on, one goal and we could draw the second half. Be an amazing achievement. Be amazing achievement. Shout out to King Sheeran in the chat. One of our big followers from Ireland has actually made the trip over for this game. He's here right yes, now. Yes, sorry, Mario. Shame for him that the game was uh, affected in such a way. Could be a fifth here. Cheeky little yeah, yeah. attempt from the tall striker. Good win, but Christie's done well. And then Christie, come leaks. Just coming back, wave after wave at the minute of red pressure. He's Macatier again. It's a good pass through to Goodwin. Could you get a shot off? She pulls it back instead, and Garwood cuts it out. Ava for his only tight on McAteer. Two of them trying to do it, which is risky when you're down a player. Andrew Tilson, thank you for the two months. Super proud of the women for getting this far. Don't let confidence drop in the league. P.S. Appreciate anyone's vote for hashtag fan representative. Ah, oh, one of our uh -huh. candidates. Go to the Socios app if you are a fan token holder for hashtag and vote for your hashtag fan representative. Four hundred and three attendance today. I would have guessed a hundred more than that, personally, based on my eye test. But we'll take it. Not bad for women's football at all. Come on, hashtag one more throw of the dice. The girls have put in an absolute shift today. Haley West. Not sure what position she's playing at this point. It has not gone off. Stayed on. Sandways keeps it on. Come on! No, no advantage. We'll have it now. Then we'll have it now. Off goes back. Sammy wants goal number 13. 12, I think. She's on 11. Oh, 12, yeah. okay. 12 she won wants, it she last 13 year. as well. Yeah. <laughs> She's done about 28 for the season, I think, for us. Something like that. Something crazy. Kahneman. Yeah. Towards Sammy, takes it down. Ava kicks it that against was Sammy. Handball, by the way. Sammy stopped for the handball, but the ref wasn't going to give it. Here is Sammy Rowland, gets the ball again, thinks about a shot, tries to oh. turn, just trying to create that angle. Another chance for a counter, though. Coventry counter. Kahneman gets there. Sandways looking to get it under. Here we go. Malika's got a chance here. Can you get through, Malika? It's on the wrong side. She wants it on the left, ideally. Still got it here. She's still going. She's still going. Malika, she's going to go down. Oh, oh it was a light one. It was just a, a tying up of little fouls, but not really a No, there was no foul stop. there. Yeah. There, were, there was a moment where I thought she was just waiting to create room to lay it off to Sammy. And then I think she just saw a gap to keep going and never really fell for her. But now Coventry at the other end. It's real end-to-end right. end stuff now. The game is completely stretched. Look at the difference between our deepest player and our furthest forward player, Malika. It's literally the whole length of the field. Malika's done well there to actually get it back on that left side. If she could just throw a foot at it there, she might have a chance. We haven't really ever made the goalkeeper make too many saves today. A lot of... No. There was the one from the Sammy, goal. wasn't there? Yeah, one good stop. And then the one at the start, first half, when she spoke... Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, Two fair. good saves, to be yeah, fair. fair. She's done everything she needs to do. Yep. Corner for Coventry. Coming in. See that hand signal there? Crossed arms. Uh oh, chance here. That's alright. She went like that, the corner taker. Did you? West Ham. That means that drill. Oh, well, we're into very close to injury time, but I expect a few minutes to be played. I haven't seen a board go up yet. Mm. 
just listen, I've got no complaints whatsoever with our performance or, or the fact that we're going to exit the competition. No. I would just love to have seen 11 v 11. Yeah, that's yeah, all. yeah. That's all I'd say. But I'm not complaining about the red. No, I'm it's just a saying red card. No I would love to have seen it. We'll never know, will we? We'll never know for sure. Cleared. Oh, it's a good hit. Good hands, Christy. Yeah, yeah, Christy. Well done. She's made some good saves as well, Christy, you know. Oh, Garwood with the flick there. Let's get him out. It's amazing him. the running that Roland and Malika have got through. Look at Sam Pressure, pressure. Well. There's one on the left. There's not one on the left. She's going to go back. back. She's going to go back. She's done well there, actually. She keeps it on. No. Got to do it quickly. Quickly, quickly. Sorry, Sasha. Go. Good from Sasha. Sammy, turn. Can you play to Emma? Got to do it quickly. Oh, she's run out of room now. Corner oh, will do. Here we go. Come on. This is it. Let's get the objective. Let's get the goal. <laughs> King Shearer. Christy, get one goal forward. We need. Well, Come on, Christy. Technically, it's not. No, but he's achieved so many things. Yeah, I'd love to see it. He's also drawing the second half with what 10 would, players. What would the celebrations would be like? It wouldn't be. It's it would be at the break, wouldn't oh, it? Oh, no, it's the biggest the celebration in right. the stadium would be me. Yeah. No, I think the players, I think the players I will give the it a little one. It's an FA Cup goal, fourth round goal. It's the highest Especially ranked goal in the history, history, history of hashtag. Might get her the golden boot. Come on. Garwood's going to take it. It's a low driver, headed away at the near oh. post. Gillard does well to stop the threat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sammy might have to do the same here, Samways. Five she on two. Is. Look at the pace of Goodwin. She is Harland, by the way. Look at yeah, her go. she is. She's crazy. Hayley West. Don't count out Hayley West. She gets there across. She is. Look at her. <laughs> Hayley West. <laughs> she might be my player of the match oh, today, no. Hayley West. <coughs> Soundways have done well. Right, can we get to Malika? Go, Malik's. Just last chance. Malika, how do you do it? How do you do it? By the way, Sammy was played on side. Unexpectedly by someone there. Here Good. we go. Got Sasha. Sasha. These girls have tried to get away from each other. They've got to get away from each other. All on top of each other there. A little bit uh, out of gas. Oh, Gillard should have left that, I think. Offside. No. Christy, that's no, gone wide. It's actually a really good pass. The way it's curled in. Where's it coming back in? Look at Harland in the box. Chance here. Oh, Gillard. brilliant. It's a handball. It's a handball. Hand. I think it was a hand. But you I don't give them, I don't think. Not a nil nil, you don't. You don't give them a 4 0 <laughs> down in 4 nil, you don't, yeah. I mean, it's like, Gillard, oh, she's hurt. hurt that's the last thing we want. That's the last thing we want, guys. Oh um, no, please don't be a knee. I don't know if you're aware of it guys, there's actually um hopefully it's cramp. There's actually a horrible stat, like you know you're four times more likely to do an ACL in the women's game than you are the men's. Why? Oh it's because of the start. Well game. a lot of people are wondering it's because the boots aren't custom yeah. made for women and the, they run differently but different shaped feet. You just hear I mean something like four of the top ten Ballon d'Or women are out of ACLs right now. Like it's crazy. I thought that was I was wor I was worried about the worst there, but Gillard's a battler and she's the up. The thing is, with Grace, I could never rule out that she just did her ACL. She's still walking. It wouldn't be impossible for me to understand that. Jack Harrison jogged home with his ACL from the train station. That's I mean, madness. Not a great advice. Some people do it without knowing. Yeah, I know exactly. How's yep. kick? It's going to come to Kahneman. Here we go. Sends it down the line. Roland challenges. Frazzoni underneath it. Hashtag have actually had moments in this half where we've looked like the more dominant side. Sasha Adamson, oh, that's not where she meant it, I don't think. Challenge. Garwood, don't, don't, don't back out, don't back out. Good, yes. Maisie. Wide, wide. Here we go. Good, Emma. Malika. Just go, just go. She's on no, the right got side. Any running left in them legs. She finds Roland. Roland, Great turn. good movement. Here it is. Sammy! Oh, it's got a deflection. That looked like a decent strike <laughs> as well, Seb. It's going to be a throw, I think. Yeah, it is. That looked like it could have been goalwards, you know. She gets great contact on the ball. Hayley West, has Hayley West won this? Samways. Give it to Hayley. Oh. Good, Sasha. Good little low block there. McAteer would be a candidate for player of the match as well. So from a hashtag perspective, though, it's, it's, it's Hayley West for me. Yeah, I'd say that's good. It's but Malika's up there as well. Malika and Grace. Chance for Coventry to add to their tally here. Four of them forward. Was that a shot? Christy lets it go. Can't imagine there'll be long left now. We're in the fifth minute of injury time. If you just tuned in, we did suffer a first half red card, which definitely uh, made it more difficult. We were 2-0 down at the time, but we were in very much in the game. And then, unfortunately, uh, the red card made it difficult. Then a third goal right on half time as well. 
And just the one in the second half. I mean, to lose 1-0 in the second half with 10 players the whole time against a team two leagues above you, it's pretty decent. Kahneman's kick. Could come through to Maliga here. Has she got anything left in the tank? Is this the only... I mean, she can't have, but she looks like she has. She's she almost there. there. It's good pace, though, from the, the captain, you have to say. Yeah, Bartle. there you go. It's gone off, though. Right, this will probably be it now, Spen. This will be the last imagine, chance. Imagine we nick one. Just to nick one. Just for a little bit of something to take back down the M1. Malika throws it to Sammy. Touch is heavy, but she doesn't give up. She gets it back. She still wants to get this goal. She wants that golden boot, you can tell. Maybe should have passed it. And that's there the full-time whistle. And it's a 4-0 defeat, but I am very proud of these ladies, not just for their performance and their battle today, but for the whole FA Cup campaign. It's been a record-breaking year for the Tags. There's still a lot of things on the line for this team. I expect silverware. I'm hopeful for promotion. But as the FA Cup journey comes to a close, we can't be anything but proud, can we, Seb? Absolutely not. There's so much the girls can take from that. They won't feel like it right now. They'll be very disappointed. They do not lose many games of football, but they've got to bounce back quickly. So much from that side that Jason will be very, very proud of, just like we are. Well done, girls. You'll be back. Alex Manning, thank you for the super chat as well. We do appreciate that. And all our members and our gifted memberships as well. It really does help the club, and we've got lots more to fight for. We're fighting for an unprecedented double promotion this season. The men and women are both very much in with a good chance of achieving that feat. So we need your support from now into the end of the season. Just a few months left. Stay with us on the men's side and the women's side. Lots of big games to come. We've got a County Cup semi-final in a few weeks for the women. We've got a uh, obviously a league campaign coming to a close. And the men are second in their league as well. And they're on a 12-match record winning streak. Not just the club record of league, winning game, or league wins in a row, but a current national record of the top eight divisions of English football. No other men's team is on a 12-win streak run right now. So lots to be excited about if you're a hashtag fan. Well done to Coventry. Very much deserving of their place in the next round. We'll be rooting for you in the rest of the competition. And we hope they stay up in the championship as well. And we'll be back soon with more hashtag content for you. We've got a men's game going up on the channel. Highlights either tomorrow or Tuesday. So stay tuned for that. And uh, thank you very much for your support as ever. Up the tags. Bad boy, I probably daddy buy. Girl, you fing with a nigga, keep the city high. Girl, you bad, we all know you bad. I keep one eye on you like a very wide. Girl, we went our separate ways. You, you just wanna surf the wave. I had you surfing that for days. I saw what you would do for plays. Pulling up on the outside. Told you I was coming through. I'ma give you that D. Like you doing bad in school. You be fly without the plane tickets. I've been out here on the same mission. You be riding shotgun looking like a bot team. While I be. She wanted a time shot. So I put it right in the nine, nine, nine. You know, nine to the mind, nine, nine. Love my baby right. Oh, nine, nine. Haters on my phone like blah, blah, blah. Talking to the money. Oh, la, la, la. Yeah, you heard about me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you always gonna tell me. So I'm sure, yeah. So I gotta go fly. Turn the lights down. I'ma get you till you pipe down. Girl, I got you tripping all night now. When I said I wanna get me right now. Baby, right? Ooh, nah, nah.